Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here, and we are back with some more Trails in the Sky, the third. Um, we are going to start Chapter 4 now, basically, and see what's going on. We also have two gadget crystals to open up. I'm not interested in this platoon yet. I'm not, I've never been interested in this, in this platoon past the first one. And then I feel like I missed the boat. And then I realized I never have patience to play competitive-focused games, so I just never got them. That was basically how it went for me. <laughs> Eat water? Alright. Don't mind us, we're playing tic-tac-toe. Also another thing. Bro, I'm kind of I'm kind of very intrigued in this Tower of Fantasy game. I'm just gonna say that. I mean I'm not I'm sure I'm pretty sure no one's surprised about that, but pretty intrigued. Especially because it seems to have a multiplayer focus, but I don't know if that's true or not, but hey. Anyways. Um I'm not interested in Splatoon. Full I know, I know you you don't like Splatoon at all, so that's fair. I've always known that. <laughs> you hate, like, inkling designs and shit. Uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just going to continue. Kevin Graham, the f f 543rd class of trainees. In the name of the goddess above, I hereby appoint you a squire of the Septian Church. Is that a qu That's the queen, isn't it? Oh, wait, who is that? I don't know who that is, actually. That and the multiplayer focus? True. Oh, so you're not having that, that into multiplayer focus either. I humbly accept my appointment. Oh yeah! One of the damn characters! <laughs> Sorry, I it's off it's fresh on my mind, but voice actors always get me. I heard this guy's voice again when I was watching someone play Tower of Fantasy. How is Keith Silverstein like everywhere? He's literally he like I swear he just takes every job offered to him. He's like, yeah, sure, why not? Why the why the fuck not? Come with Kevin looking fresh. Yeah, he is. I humbly accept my appointment. I pledge to offer my soul to the goddess above and both body and blood to her church on earth. Very good. Congregation for the Sacraments Cardinal? Bro, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that means leader of the gathering of the sacraments for the sacraments. I don't know. It is exceedingly rare for one your age to be appointed to this position. I can only assume your aptitudes and training achievements warranted it. May you strive to be a worthy guardian of the goddess's sacraments as her loyal and devoted servant. Do the voice acting? Trust me. I'm basically always trying to do the voice acting with these kind of games with no voice acting. Was that who I was talking to? Dude. No, that wasn't her, right? Whoever she is, though. Yo, what up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't Kevin, I see you. Uh, <laughs> I see you managed to avoid having your promotion rejected by the top brass. I don't think I think that was someone else. Splendid, but she's gonna come back as a bad guy. Looking real Lilith-like. Wait, Lilith from who? From where? Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Instructor, I can't really thank you enough for all you've done for me. I never dreamed I would have had an actual Dominion up supervising my training. From Lilith. Oh, you just mean as in devil? Okay, that's that character's name, Lilith, so I don't know if that's what you meant. <laughs> I'm not stroking my sword, bro. I don't even have one. I never dreamed I'd have an actual Dominion supervising my training. <laughs> How sweet of you to say. Hard to believe you're the same boy who waltzed up before the congregation for the sacraments, shouting, Make me a knight, please! <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you chucked that memory back in the furthest reaches of your mind, thank you. Remember. Oh, but how could I? Had I missed your groveling, I never would have taken an interest in you in the first place. And not in a million years would I have ta uh, thought that you're related to Rufina. You could have asked her to take you on as her pupil before resorting to such drastic me measures, you silly boy. Well, I had my reasons. Let's just leave it at that. Very well, it doesn't matter at this point, anyway. Congratulations, you're now a dog of the church, just like the rest of us. It's good to have you on board. Thank you. Also, there's like... Bro, they really... The artist for this game, or the, whatever, the character designer for this game, really likes making, like... Older women with, like, hair covering one eye. Wasn't that also, like, the basic picture they showed for the commander? Oh, oh, wait, or is she the commander? Oh, maybe it's the same person! Because I forgot it would be, um... It would be Kevin's commander who was on the screen, right? Oh, did she call him... Did she... Did he call him... Her, uh, Selnit? Because that would make sense. Commander Selnit? Selnit? I don't remember. It was, it was a while ago. It was a few streams ago. Emo, basically? Yeah. I'm not sure that's the most reassuring metaphor to be use, uh, using on new recruits, though. I feel like I literally said hello there to the same character twice in the same game, without realizing. That's that's something, all right. At least I'm consistent. 
Is that Genshin Pro DPS one-shot monster malt? Dude. I kicked that worm's ass, I'm just saying. Uh, you might scare some of them right off. Please, you're not even trying to- you're not trying to position yourself as some sweet doe-eyed thing, are you? Besides, I think it's a perfectly apt description for us. We go around sniffing out sacraments wherever they may be, tearing, tearing through the throats of the heretical fools who are now with them all the while. Can you spot the difference? Come on, instructor, I'm used to you at this point, so I don't really care if you call me a dog, huh? But... But if you care if I call your beloved Rufina one, don't you? Not to worry, Kevin, I can read between the lines well enough. Well, did I guess right? I, I owe her a lot, but I wouldn't call her my beloved. She's just like a big sister to me, that's all. Yeah, y'all... Y'all got that shit interchangeable in this world, though, let's be, let's be honest. When y'all keep talking about brother and sister, y'all also keep saying it's that's space. Yo, that's a relationship material. Like, that's been happening so many times, I don't even care- No. You can't even- you can't even say that shit anymore. <laughs> You're making it sound like I- Like you- what exactly? Rafina? I thought you were in Remif- Who the f- Bro! I thought you were in Remiferia on a mission. I was, but I tried to I tried to finish as quickly as possible so I could be back for your appointment ceremony. We should have gotten multi com Bro, I don't even want do I wanna look? Do I wanna look? As well I'm I'm, a, I'm kind of extending the fucking cutscene a lot because I keep getting distracted. But hold on. Also, there's gonna be a lot of talking in this game. This game is, is just straight talking. Uh Oh, okay. All right, I'm just not. I'm not looking anymore. That, that's enough for me. You can call. You can call me Malt Multime Maltime or Multime. I don't know anymore because Faze kept using that as Multime. Uh, I'm so proud of you, Kevin. It's an, it's amazing just how fast you've grown, and now you're a full fledged adult like me. Wow. Thanks for going out of your way to come come here. I'm not sure I deserve to be called an adult yet, though. Don't. No one. I know at least one person is thinking it. Probably just me. I've got a whole whole lot of work ahead of me. If you want to be half the night, the two of you are. Oh my, how modest of you. By the way, have you let Reese know about all of this yet? Not yet. I'm planning to write to her tonight. Oh wait, didn't she? Didn't he? Didn't he like literally never fucking comment, like communicate with Reese? For like, the, she just he just kept procrastinating it until they met in this game. Not yet. I'm I'm planning to write to her tonight. She's been real mad at me ever since I decided to come to Arteria, though. Hopefully this will cheer her up a bit. There's not much else I can do to make up with her short of going home. Perhaps we should do that together at some point if we can find the time. Oh, and while I have the chance... So basically... Wait, hold on. So Rufina, Reese's actual older sister, left to help the church. And then Kevin also left. And then said, ah, fuck you. I'm gonna go see Rufina. I'm gonna become a church person too. You you, you have fun here on your own, Reese. And then, she, and then he never fucking sent a message back. I can see why that would be bad for Reese. And then Reese ended up in the church too somehow. Maybe to follow them? I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, and I and I have and while I have a chance, thank you so much for looking after him all this time, Ayn. You've given up so much of your free time, and I really do appreciate it. Think nothing of it. It proved quite a fun like, f quite a fun way to kill time. He has a fair amount of potential in combat arts and thaumaturgy too. It's a shame all his skills are on the practical side of things, however. His academic side is uh, less than stellar. Uh, I had this feeling in the pit of my stomach that may be the case. <laughs> oh, right. I gotta get going. I have to pick up my new room key and medal from the general affairs guy. Wow, he has a lot of general affairs to deal with. Sorry, I'll talk to you later. Oh. What's this? You look so concerned. Feeling guilty because he followed you into such a dangerous line of work? Not at all. That was completely up to him. And him alone. I would never try to dictate his life choices. It's just that... I think he'll make a fine night, personally. He checks all the boxes, he's got the potential, he's got the determination. All in all, I can see why you're so proud of him. And call it a hunch, but I wouldn't be surprised if he... If a stigma manifest... If a stigma manifested in him just like it has in you? Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think you could sense that of others if you didn't possess one yourself. Yet one more reason to feel frustrated that you're in a dominion. <laughs> I know we're friends, but there's no way... There's no need for all the flattery. My combat and thaumaturgy abilities are average at best. I wouldn't be cut out for the job at all. I'm grateful enough to have been promoted from Squire tonight. That's the upper limit for someone uh, with my lack of potential. If only you saw things the way I do. Someone with an average at best abilities couldn't have handled your Ouroboros case half as, half as well as you did. Everyone has confidence issues in this game, man. 
F fighting off a man of that reported strength to a uh, swift enough conclusion would be a pretty feather in anyone's cap. It was just my luck that we both came to an understanding. As far as Kevin goes, he wouldn't need to rely on luck. His potential for growth extends further than I'll ever be able to go. But he has one weakness holding him back. That poor boy is just far too kind. So kind, in fact, that I can see him driving himself into a corner because of it one day. So, Kevin's weakness is that he's too nice? Well, shit. That's the kind of answer you give in a, in a shitty in, a fucking uh, interview question. Chapter 4, The Dark Stigma. Finally. Oh, finally, guys. All right. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the moment we've been waiting for, y'all. Double gacha. All right. Let's go. We're going right into it. We're going right into it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who is it? Estelle, please? Estelle? Hello. I miss you, Estelle. Come back. Even though I'll make it really hard for me to choose who my party is. Hello. That looks like... Joshua being excited is a good sign. Hold on. Bru I mean, I ca I'm kind of excited about Oliver. Who the fuck cares about Zen? No one cares, man. No. Nobody cares about Zen. Okay, let's be honest. Ah, oh, frick, man. G Zin? Prince Olivert? Well, now this is a surprise. Don't think this is a dream, at least. Indeed it is not. I would be overjoyed to share a sweet date with Shara in my dreams. Where's Shara? Give me Shara! One, one with a fine drinking companion, not so much. You guys are gonna be some awesome bench warmers, except for the fact that I need you guys to open a few doors, but other than that... <laughs> yeah, this is a real... This is real, alright. Still, doesn't Shara count as a drinking companion, too? In a way, it's fine to be drunk with the joy of her company, but it is very much the opposite to be drunk with alcohol involved. That's one of the most important lessons I learned during my stay in Liberal. Oops. <laughs> True words have never been spoken. But alright, enough playing around. You guys mind filling us in on what just kind of situation we've gotten ourselves into? We shall make with the embraces and tearful greetings afterward. Honestly. You two really are something special. You think you'd be a little shaken finding yourselves in somewhere as unnatural as, it, as this out of nowhere? Imagine waiting like two days for this shit. I hope nobody was excitedly waiting for the gacha. Hmm, this is quite the pickle. I appreciate that it may be hard to believe, but that is the situation we find ourselves in at, at this present time. If we were to find a, try to find a way out, we'll, we'll need you to accept that. Major Vander Ugly AF? Honestly, yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in disagreement. I'm not in disagreement about that. <laughs> oh, Mueller, my sweet rose-kissed muse. Ever pure and fear, free of- oh, but he's cool though, he's, his fighting style is cool. I'll admit that I have warmed up to how he fights. Ah, uh, you misunderstand me. I have long accepted our current predicament as reality. And why do you look so deep in thought? Also, I just realized Vander fucking- yeah, Vander is like super connected to Oliver. I don't know why that didn't click until now. Need you even ask? Perhaps my life's toughest decision lies ahead of me. He isn't- Bro, are you guys talking about me? Hold on. What did I miss? confused. Are you guys asking me to play? Oh, oh. I don't know. I'm not gonna play tic-tac-toe right now. Why would I do that during my stream? Perhaps my life's toughest decision lies ahead of me. Before me, I find Joshua, P Princess Claudia, Tita, and Josette. And then there's Julia and even a new face, Reese. Oh, God. Just whom shall I gather into my arms like a warm blanket and exchange sweet nothings in celebration first? <laughs> Oh boy. Wait, he just flirted with literally everybody here except- For real? Except for fucking Kevin. <laughs> Only you. Uh, Joshua. You were pulling my leg when you said this guy was an Erebonian prince, right? 
Hard as it is to believe, he is. Putting my deepest, like deeply earnest dile no, dilemma aside for the time being, it sounds as though you've been making some headway in unraveling the mysteries behind this place. Naturally, I would be more than honored to help with that. But first, you've got a few questions you need to ask, right? I know I sure do. Should've known you'd be thinking along the same lines. You're exactly right. Fine by me, what do you want to ask? Do you think you figured something out? That's what I want to find out. First, I want to ask you about that ghost you've encountered in here. Ask away. If I remember correctly, the first time you met her, uh, met her was on the balcony in Gransel Castle, yes? Indeed it was. She gave us the key that allowed us to eventually find and rescue you. That was the first time she appeared to us as a ghost, and I don't believe it was the first time she directly communicated with you, was it? Don't think so, anyway. Well, when Reese and I first arrived here, we heard a strange voice talking to us. We didn't have a clue who it belonged to at the time, but I think that was probably her too. As do I. So at first, she only existed here as a voice, but she's gradually started showing up with a body too? I know it's a weird way to put it, but if, I, if it's true, it backs up what that man in black said last time he saw him. Yeah, to the Lord of Phantasma had stolen most of her power, right? He kept referring to her as the Hermit, and Master of the Hollow Garden too. Plus, the inscription on that monument behind us has the Hermit's Garden written on it. I think all of us can connect the dots just fine. Agreed. It's reasonable to conclude that this very garden is connected to her somewhere. That's true. Makes sense to me. But also make explains why this place is kind of comfy compared to the other weird, fiend-infested places in Phantasma. Hmm, feels like we're getting closer to the truth with every re new revelation. By the sounds of it, she's been in Phantasma for a while now. Possibly since the beginning. But then she had her power stolen by the Lord of Phantasma, and ended up without a body. Since then, she's been trying to help us to the best of her abilities and guide us forward. If we assume that all of that to be true, maybe the monuments scattered throughout are connected to her somehow. They seem to exist for that same purpose, guiding us forward. There's, there, I think there's one more thing in our possession that's connected to her as well. The cube, Kevin. You think so? Unfortunately, your guess is as good as mine as to what exactly that cube is. That being said, I think the odds of it being connected to her somehow are as high as everything else in the list so far. Well, what do you think? Honestly, I'm impressed. You've done a remarkable job of making sense of the situation when you've only just arrived. Still, we assume all that to be true, then there's something else that we should be doing as we keep moving forward. Helping to restore her power, I assume? That way we should be able to ask her what else she knows about the land we're in. Got it in one. I get this impression that if we don't, we won't stand a chance against those two. We'll find ourselves up against a wall at some point. You may be well be right. Well, leaving her aside for the time being, I do have one final thing I'd like to ask. It's gonna be some bullshit. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be some dumb bullshit. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Huh? What else is there to cover? It concerns that- Oh, wait, hold on. This isn't dumb shit. Yo, wait, this guy's being serious. It concerns that Lord of Phantasma you kept mentioning, actually. Put simply, you wouldn't happen to have any ideas as to who they are, would you, Kevin? Why me? Well, from my perspective, they're awfully fixated on you. They seem to know about Reese's deceased sister as well. And then there's the fact they're even able to summon devils from the church's texts. It all seems to be pointing to you two. And you in particular. Wait, Oliver is actually just being serious, except for that one flirt. It's like he ties his hair up and, and puts on some good clothes and suddenly he's like a cool- like he's reasonable? Hmm, I can see what you'd ask, I guess. Unfortunately for you though, I got nothing. If anything, I'd say they seem to be an enemy of the Grawlzer as a whole rather than just me. Hmm, I suppose that's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if an organization like that had more than their fair share of enemies. No offense, of course, I have plenty of enemies myself. I'm trying to sound like it's something worth boasting about. Anyway, if we're done, if we, even if we've connected some dots, we'll have to save the mystery behind who our enemies are for another day. Perhaps we can get more information out of them next time we see them, but until then, we don't have enough to work with. Right. Next time one of them shows up, we'll just have to see what we can force out of them. So that about wraps things up for now. If so, we should probably get ready to head out again. We're on plane number four, and if the previous planes are anything to go by, it's gonna be tough. I hope this plane is cool. Kevin? Oh. Hmm, what's up? Music stopped. Serious shit. Did you have something else you wanted to add? No. It's just that I'm not feeling very well, so I'm gonna go sit the next plane. No! What? No! I actually like Reese! She's cool! Man! <laughs> God damn it. What? I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone, but please look out for him on my behalf. She shouldn't she, he shouldn't cause you much trouble, but as I'm sure you know, he can be a little careless at times. You know what I have this feeling about, Reese? Wait a sec! I have this feeling that we're gonna meet Estelle while she's missing. 
And then I'm just going to constantly be like, bro, I want to see Estelle meet Reese, damn it. And then, you know, it's going to be that kind of thing. Are you not going to go after her? I, um, sorry. I'll be back in a minute. Damn, that quick? All right. He's confident in his talking skills. Reese, wait a sec. There's, there's, this hallway's not that long. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, it's auto advancing. That's, that makes sense. Oh, I know. Are you feeling left out because you're the only one who was, who, who you know here and everyone else is buddy, buddy? Sorry, Reese. Probably wasn't fun to have to sit through the whole happy reunion deal over and over. Oh, I should have noticed earlier, really. I've been very insensitive, so I'm really sorry, okay? Da da da. When are you gonna stop acting? Huh? I missed so many words. I'm so sorry. I could not read that fast. It's true that I felt a little left out for a while. You've clearly gone through so much together, and it's made you th that much more fond of each other in the days since. Meanwhile, you didn't send a single letter to me after you left! Bitch! He she's gonna say that. And it's 100% deserved, by the way. Why did Reese deserve that? <laughs> yeah, we had some amazing times. Hard to come out of the other end of stuff we did to get without growing closer through it all. Watching you all, how could I not have felt lonely? How could I not have felt jealous? You've been avoiding me for the past five years, Kevin. True. The thought that you even grown to close to so many others while going out of your way to keep me out of arm's reach did make me sad. You know I didn't mean it like that, Reese. But at the same time, I was still happy you did. I knew how badly what happened to Rufina had hurt you and how you were still blaming yourself for it. I knew how you were driving yourself into a corner over it and how you were taking on nothing but dirty jobs as if you were trying to punish yourself. And I couldn't confirm it for myself, but I just knew the rumors that you were desperate to burn yourself out through them were true. So that's why, that's the reason. That's why as long as I felt when you were off making new friends without me, I was really, really happy more than anything. Um, Reese, you do know that. Except it turns out you haven't made any new friends at all. You're pulling the same exact thing you pulled with me on them. Every single one at arm's length. They can't get close to you, and you won't get close to them. On the surface, you're a cheerful person try having fun with everyone, but on the inside, you're as cold as can be. All you're doing is manipulating your own emotions so people think you're someone you're not. For watching you ever since we were reunited, it's become plain as day to me. Man, I'm, hope I'm happy you're worried about me, but you've totally got the wrong idea with this one. Sorry, I I'm good at a lot of things, but pretending to be someone I'm not isn't one of them. When I'm happy, you'll know about it. And when I'm mad, well, I think you're, I'm not so good at hiding that either. I'm the same transparent guy I always was. Oh, I didn't say you weren't easy to read. Oops, far from that. I think that's what she said. After all, I know how genuinely shaken you were by the Lord of Phantasma's message. Their words and the words of the Schwartzwit Ritter always come across as cryptic, but not to you. Deep down, you know what, they, uh, what they're talking about. You just, you just constantly keep it from the rest of us and try to keep us in the dark. No, maybe you even managed to pull the wool over your own eyes, too. Come on now, you can't seriously devour the new offering presented to you and display your seal once more. You know exactly what that means, don't you? Go on. Why are we in Gatchaland? We're trying to figure that out, too. We randomly got absorbed into a cube, and all of my friends got absorbed into this dimension, too. We're, like, out of this fucking... We're in, the, we're in Phantasma land. That's all we know, and we're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on by going deeper into it towards hell. You know what? Maybe you should sit things out for a bit. You're clearly really tired. What? Wow. Kevin, stop being a bitch. Kevin, are you, are you mansplaining right now, Kevin? <laughs> is this what mansplaining is? I get that you're as angry as you are upset with me, bruh. But I think it's starting to make you jump into some really out there conclusions. And being tired out is going to only make it worse, bruh. Bro, yo, hold on. Is he, is he actually just reducing everything he, she just said to... Ah, yeah, you sound pretty tired. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You should go, go get some sleep, crazy lady. That's basically what he just said, right? Can't you see how negative your line of thinking is? You can't seriously believe all this is actually true. Bro! Oh, it's so, it's so manipulative. I hate that. I actually am a little bit upset about this. I'm not saying I don't deserve all the anger. I totally do. Don't control the fucking narrative, dude. I generally was busy, but at the same time, wasn't trying to face you if we did end up meeting me either. Still, we're gonna we're gonna be working together from now on, so enough. True. Huh? Good! Do it again! Bro, do it again! Everything you're saying is just meaningless. True! Maybe the others don't realize that, but how dare you think that I of all people would fall for it? Yeah, you can't manipulate me, bitch. 
I realize I'm turning my back on my duties as a squire by doing this, but I can't bear to be near you anymore. Stop with these idiotic jokes! <laughs> yeah, Will Slap! That was actually a Will Slap! I can't stand to see the Kevin I thought I knew so empty. So... Ooh, speedrun. Wait. Wait, hold on! That's the... Wait, do you guys see that? I don't think that was that was optimal for a wide screen, because that's the top of a bookshelf. She just sprinted off of a bookshelf. On camera. That ain't no, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> she's dead. She's dead no, she's dead. Kevin? Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. Don't worry about it. Damn, Joshua, your your think your pensive thoughts sound a lot like Pikachu. I want to know something, Joshua. You've looked into me a fair bit since I first stepped onto the scene, right? I have. I know that you're called a heretic hunter. I know that you're one of the twelve dominions that lead the Grawls Runner. I know that you undertake the execution of sinners the church deems the most unforgivable, almost single-handedly. I figured you know your stuff. Wouldn't want any guys whose backgrounds you hadn't thoroughly vetted being close to your girlfriend for long, huh? Oops. I can't deny it. Still, the only people you harm are those sinners, never anyone else. So I decided that for the time being, at least. You weren't that a threat to her or anyone else. I see. Weissman was your work too, wasn't it? Sure was. My job was to get rid of him, that's it. Everything I did with you guys leading up to that point was to get myself into a position to get it done without him catching on. That includes helping you all of you out, naturally. Yeah, I know. You must have been aware of the possibility that Estelle would be taken on board the Glorious too. You thought allowing it to happen would, ha would help you in the long run, so you kept quiet about it. Well, now, wow, now that's... Now, I'm, now that one I'm surprised you pieced together. But yep, you're absolutely right. I figured there was a chance she might get abducted, but I did exactly nothing to stop it. All I cared about was finding out what that Weissman and, and you were up to. And where you were, and for that matter. Couldn't use better bait for that than her. I thought so. And yet all of that doesn't change how I'm more grateful than words can express. Why's that? Because if you hadn't helped me back then, I would still be Weissman's puppet. I've broken with my own hands what I value the most in the whole world. It's a depth I'll never be able to fully repay. Oh, sweet idea. So now you're just being cute. I know you're smart enough to realize that's not all that... That's not at all why I threw you a bone, right? I just wanted him off his guard enough to create the opening I needed. As a, as a reminder, in case you guys forgot, you guys probably remember. I mean, at least the people who, who focused in the last game. But uh, Kevin straight up just like one-tapped one Weissman at the end of the last game. Like, it was like everything was like falling apart and he was like, Sup, bitch? And then he fucking shot him in the head. He was dead, and then he left. I was- I just wanted him off his guard enough to create the opening I needed. Helping you was the perfect way to do that, and that's all there was to it. And again, that doesn't change how grateful I am to you. Knowing why you did it what you did doesn't erase the gratitude I feel. Not in the slightest. <laughs> really is just as well as you ended up quitting Ouroboros. You'd suck to high heaven if you were an enforcer now. <laughs> Honestly, you're totally right. If Reese is sitting on the sidelines for now, let me help you in her place. Bro, you can't replace Reese. Joshua, shut the f- Bro, is Joshua about to become a required character in this game? Joshua, why? I was so excited about being able to replace her ass, bro. You are not a replacement, Reese. Shut the hell up. You had enough time with Spotlight, okay? I might not be as capable as you are as helping you as she is, but I should be able to back you up. You don't need to feel indebted to me, you know? Well, I'll take what I can get. No doubt you're worried sick about Estelle, too, so there's your gold star reason for helping me out for helping out besides me. So thanks, I'm glad you've got my back. Right back at you. Fuck. Fuck! Oh! Oh, Joshua's a required character. Frickin' frick. That's a frickin' frick moment. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad about that. Well, now at least we can uh, we can cause an annoying love triangle to happen, even though Estelle's not even here. Right. I'm just gonna have jo uh, remember. I'm just gonna have uh, Joshua hang out with Chloe and Josette the whole time. They're they're just gonna hang out all the time, because because Estelle's not here, so now's your chance. Be a be a fucking home wrecker, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. I actually really want to add Tina too. I'm so. I was actually thinking in my head. I was like, oh wait, if Reese is leaving, does that mean only Kevin's gonna be required? And then I can have, and then I can have Tita, Josette, and Chloe together. Wow, it's gonna be so fun. And then Josh was like, hey guys, Black Fang, anyone? And I was like, fuck, man. Uh, 
Ugh. Ugh. Can I can I please also emphasize how shit Joshua's picture is? This isn't even a cool pose. You're dumb, Joshua. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say. Actually, I'm not sorry to say it. Fuck you, bitch. All right. Anyways. Anyways. You know what's really funny? Joshua really thought that he could pull this pose off. You know who could pull this pose off way better? Fucking Joe Look at that. That's cute. That's cute. What's this? What's this? Huh? And you know who else tried to do it? You know who else tried to do this pose? Y'all will never guess who all tried to be cute. Check this out. Bitch ass. Y'all need to stop with this shit. Okay, it's not cool. Just stop, just stop. Okay? Thank you. Oh wait, oh wait, wait, hold on, wait. Olivia and Zinn. Okay, okay, okay. We haven't seen their pictures yet. Okay, we just got Olivia and Zinn. Let's see what we got. Olivia. Three, two, one, go. Okay. He's cool. I mean I like I like how he looks like as a prince. So Ow, he's he's chill. I'm okay with that. Good job, Olivia. You look pretty decent. Yeah, he has a gun. He literally shoots people. And he's also a bard. He's a gun bard. That's why I like the third part of my first playthrough VODs on YouTube are gun bard. Do Vander? I showed you Vander. This is Vander. Mueller Vander. His name is Mueller Vander. Why is that a cool pose? Wait, who? This? Are you asking me why this is a cool pose? I think it's fine. I mean, I think he's like, he's all right. He's showing his gun. He's just standing there. He's, he's like serious, which is weird. I didn't expect him to be serious. Normally he's all like, <laughs> you know, guns in a fantasy game, bro. There, this game, bro, don't even get me started right now. Okay. This game has set up the whole reason for technology to exist so well from the beginning of the, fuck, of the fucking game. It's, it's like, it's like, ugh. it makes sense. There's so much tech in this game. Anyways, Zin, let's go. You know what? He looks good. He actually looks really good in this game. He I don't like how he looked like in the other games. He looks pretty good in this game. Man is just straight up Ryu. Or Ryu, whatever. Fuck, man. I always keep saying- No, he's Dan! He's actually Dan Hibiki. He just needs the blue- he needs the pink. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. I don't think he's as awkward as this. Or- uh, you know what the- this is my- this is my least favorite one. I don't care what anyone says. I don't like this one. This one is so bad. This, I just can't. I can't. Actually, hold on. But you know what the best one in the entire game is, though? The best one in the entire game. 100%. So cute. She's so cute. And I can't even use her because fucking fuck. Okay? Wait, did I already look at... Oh, I did look at this. Alright, let's go. I mean, I can use her, but then I gotta drop Josette. Choice is hard. All right, let's go look at, uh, let's go see what, let's go see, um, best pose is Scree, true, actually you're right, the real, the real best character is Sieg, <laughs> wait, where is everyone, is nobody, also look, this is the place where Reese, look, this is where I was talking to Reese, okay, I want you guys to know, we were standing right here and Reese full on sprinted here, off this, she should be dead, is she even here? Oh, 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 what the fuck? Oh wait, she is here. Oh, wait, Tina's here. Are you feeling all right, Reese? I can go and get you some medicine if it would help. Oh my God, you're right. Sieg is the only bird I like, ever. You big dummy, she's not sick, she's angry. Huh? Come on, read between the lines. That phony priest obviously said something to make her mad and this is the result. You're better off leaving her alone for now. Um, but... Oh, yeah, true. Reese had a fight with you, Kevin? So that's why she looks so down. Isn't there anything we can do to make her feel better? Oh, give me a break, Idios, as if I didn't feel guilty enough already. So that's why she looks so down. Isn't there anything we can do to make her feel better? Also, did... Did Josette just call Tita a big dummy? Bro, am I about to have to boot, boot Josette out of this fucking party? 
Actually, wait, Hoodle is cute too, you're right. I forgot about Hoodle. If you want to keep lying to yourself, Kevin, then go right ahead. That's what makes you happy, I won't stop you. But as long as I keep doing as you keep doing so, I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Damn, she's really mad this time. So basically, J Kevin has to have a crazy uh, character development plot point for her to rejoin me. Kevin, please stop being a bitch. I want Reese back on the team. Look what you've done. Because Kevin was a bitch, we have Joshua on the party. Can you believe this? This is actually Kevin's fault. I can't even believe this right now. Also, where is literally everyone? There's so many other people to talk to. Where are they? Are they at the... Oh, they're at the grocery tree. Okay. Okay, what's up, guys? It's seeming more and more that... It's seeming more and more like we're all drawn here in the at the same time, which is a relief in some ways if that pitiful thing had been left from the outside world without me to watch it. I shudder to think about what would happen. I'd come to his defense, but no, I can't blame you. See me more and more. Okay. Have you been? How have you been since we last met, Your Highness? Word of your popularity in Erebonian high society has been reaching us over in Liberal too. Well, I'm doing enough, a good enough job of convincing them a little more than an elegant yet harmless prince at the moment. Still, spending so much of my time pretending to be someone I'm not can be terribly exhausting. So I'm biding my time and waiting for the perfect chance to cast it all aside and reveal my true form to the world. Then all shall know Olivia, the gospeler of love! You moron. Gospeler of love, that's what you're going with? Who else thinks he's going to be even more of a menace to society than the Black Orbit Gospels ever were? <laughs> it's reassuring to see how little he's changed at heart, though. Still, the thought of that ghost has yet to leave my mind since I first heard about her. Bro, I was waiting for this! I, I literally, like, the moment he started talking, I was like, is he gonna ask if the ghost is hot? But he didn't, he started talking about some serious shit. But now he's talking, he now, now, there we go, there's the real thoughts right here. <laughs> it sucks because I say, I would say that. Literally, the first thing I would be like is like, yo, is the ghost hot? Just imagine the spirit of a beautiful woman all left all alone in this empty realm. <laughs> Doesn't that thought just get your imagination racing? There it is. There it is. I'm, I'm glad that Joshua was there just to say dot dot dot. We all needed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Okay. It's disturbing to think that we are literally fighting for, uh... Why did I... Literally fighting friends, bro. I thought, I thought Ike was about to get triggered, bro. Alright, anyways, uh, it's disturbing to think that we're literally fighting fiends taken from the church's text. Then again, our enemies are capable of making a replica of an entire city. I suppose summoning mirrors and tanks or child's play to them. Having listened to the Archbishop's sermons often, I'm fairly familiar with the Testaments. I never thought I would one day find myself face to face with some monstrosities within them, however. Shut! It sure has been a long time since we last met, huh, Joshua? You've been to Erebonia and Crossbell now, right? We're gonna be to cross. We're gonna be in Crossbell like next, like two months from now. N uh, actually, next month. Actually, at this, if we finish this game in time. You've been to Erebonia and Crossbell now, right? Why not make your way to Calvert? Wait, I can I can quickly make another reference to the whole series. So this series is in liberal. Uh, Tales Trails from Zero and Trails to Azure, Azure, whatever is in Crossbell. Trails of Cold Steel is in Erebonia, and then the Trails of whatever the fuck after that I forgot the name of it is in Calvert, the one that's currently being developed. True. Oh, it's something I'd like to do eventually. So we're going to be to all the countries eventually, guys. Estelle and I are looking for someone, though. Hmm, fair enough. Who are you guys looking for? Incidentally, I heard from Sharon one of the letters that Killica returned to the Republic. She, she mentioned something about her retiring from the guild after being scouted by the Calvertian government. What, that lady that used to look after the Zeiss branch? For real? Never thought I would have seen that coming. Yeah, it's all true. Hi, White Wolfie! You're here super early today. What's up? How are you? Yeah, it's all true. I hear she's up to her eyes in the work these days. You know how she is. Taking easy isn't an option for her. She gives it. She gives her all to everything she does. She's doing a hell of a job, though. Her co-workers and subordinates are all terrified of her already. You just woke up? Good morning, question mark? Or good afternoon, good evening? I don't, I don't know what time zone you're in. I forgot. I'm having a good day. All right, uh, I could swap this out so we can talk to, you know what, yeah. It's almost 11 a.m. here. Okay, okay. You're exactly 12 hours ahead? Wild. Wait, did you ever say where you were from or did I never ask? Or do you not want to say, which is fine too. 
Uh, let me uh, see what Chloe and Josette's dialogue is too while we're at it. Um, who would I want to interact with them? Well, Joshua's gonna be in the party no matter what. I kind of want to do this because <laughs> there might be dialogue. You're from Singapore. Okay, okay, I see. That's cool. I guess my fiend hours for me are like normal midday hours for you. <laughs> uh, Tita? Oh, okay. Okay, let's go talk to um. I'll be I'll be faster. Maybe do you guys think that Chloe and hold on. Wait, wait, nobody's here, man. Nobody's hanging out at the actual hangout bench. Come on, I need more dialogue to unlock right now. Oh wait, now it's Josette here? After you called Chloe a big dummy? Chloe, sorry. Tita a big dummy? What are you doing here? Just leave her to what? Leave her to us and get on with exploring. You're gonna make things worse by hanging around here. Yeah, you're right, my bad. Honestly, I have no idea what you said to her, but you're obviously the one in the wrong here. You have a good long thing about what you did wrong while you're out there. My bad. True. Big true, by the way. I know exactly what he did wrong. And be a bitch. <laughs> Chloe's here. It has always felt like we were being uh, somehow protected when we were in this garden as opposed to anywhere else in Phantasma. But I can certainly believe the idea that it may be connected to that ghost. I don't see any reason why this garden wouldn't be connected to that ghost somehow. I don't mind that one bit. It feels reassuring to know she's watching over us. She's so positive. And, and Olivia didn't say anything weird. Oh, I didn't talk. Yeah, well, you know what? Ah, uh, fuck it. Right, let's go Let's go exploring, guys. It's been almost an hour and I haven't killed something. And that gets me very antsy. I need a kill. I need blood. Together now. Oops. So let me just go get the full CP recovery and then go, and then go find out what plane number four is. Also, how do you guys think they reach the water? Do you see how deep the water is? Is the only guy like full on cl There's no way they can reach that shit. They don't got a bucket. Are they just like diving in there? Oops, sorry. Oh wait, I need your support. I need a support. What do these guys have as support? Oh my god, magic damage up. And health, battle HP recovery, and then defense. Still like speed more. Speed is always good. I feel like, I still feel like speed is like really good. Once you act here earlier, which always makes a big difference. I think anyway, if I apply my other logic to games. All right. Can this next plane not just be a bunch of platforms? I want this to be- Oh wait, we can actually open a few doors. We can save that for later. I kind of want to just progress the main plot. Because we have, um... Bring to me the darling of pure white radiance and proof of her scholarship. I- I, I don't- I don't know who that is. Alright, see ya YPDU. Uh, okay, so that's Shara. We already did that one. Did that one. We all, all let me actually qualify for that. We did this one. The man who talks with his fist is probably Zin, right? Right? I don't know who else that could be. And also, the, the bring to me the fist of steel, which nothing in this world can move. Is that the same guy, or is there another fisting guy I forgot about? This is uh, Estelle. We don't have her. We are good this one. So I feel like we could actually open a door, but I'm just going to wait on it because I'm not really pressed to do a Zim thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm really not pressed to go learn about Zim. Like, nobody, no one cares. Literally no one cares, okay? I'm sorry if you care, but I, I just, you know? And here's the entrance to the next plane. I doubt the pattern will change up now, so yeah. You won't know what kind of place that's going to be until we step inside, though. 
Ah, whatever there is, I mean, whatever, wherever it is, there's probably going to be a bunch of weird fiends there. We'll have to be sure we're ready before moving on. I'm ready. Once I open this. Ex entrance exam results? Huh? Ignoring that. Hold on. What? A letter to Chloe Renz informing her that she has passed the Genus Royal Academy entrance examination. Wait a minute! Is this actually a Chloe Moon Door? Because that means it's a major story event side quest. Is she the darling of Pure White Radiance and the proof of her scholarship is the fucking exam results? Is this actually a Chloe Door? I kind of want to do that, but no, okay, well, I still, I, okay, no, well, let's actually go do this first. But if that is true, that's exciting. Chloe door without Joshua? Hmm. That's what we're talking about here. Where are we? This is not a, okay, so this is actually an interesting place. Where are we now? Hmm, nowhere I've been before, judging from where I'm standing. Look over there! <gasps> We're playing Pokemon! Wait, I know where we are! This is where um, Estelle and Annalise trained. Wait a minute. Annalise? Estelle? Are we gonna get Annalise and Estelle? Oh no, we're gonna get the Buy My Art guy, aren't we? I don't want that guy, bro. Skip that guy, please. I got too excited. I shouldn't have done that. Now we're gonna get that guy. Buy my art, become hard as steel. Huh, that's one heck of a view. Wow, well this is a lot prettier than the last plane at least. This must be another real place to be recreated here in Phantasma, much like the capital was. Most likely, yeah. So where is it though, somewhere in Liberal? I doubt it, it's not familiar to me at all. My best guess would be somewhere along the Crone Mountains, but the air suggests otherwise. What was the buy my art guy's name? Kurt? I think it was Kurt. Oh. Hmm? Huh? What's the Bracer Guild I'm doing here? It looks like this really isn't a place that exists in Liberal. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any guild facilities like this anywhere in the, in the country. What's that then? This is a copy of a place in some other country. Would you look at that? The answer was right under our noses the whole time. It was? Laloc. True. This is Laloc. Oh, sorry, Lalocal. Lalocal Training Center? I know that name. Wasn't the training camp Estelle went to a while back? You know, last year with Annalise? True, see? I, yo, I love when I remember things before the game says it, because then I feel like I'm actually immersed. I've, I, I've passed the, the test about if I remember details in this game. That's the one. It's a, it's a guild on facility located in Le 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 Lemon State. Lemon State, yep. I've never been there myself, though. I've only heard about it from Estelle. And there's yet another problem to solve. Lemon State is a fairly significant distance away from Liberal, after all. Yeah, it is. It's farther away than both Erebonia and Calvary. But you know, I may not have a clue how a place in Lemon... ...ended up in being created here, or why? But if our en enemies did it, they must have had a reason for doing so. Right? <laughs> I need to catch on. Yeah, I was hard mode here. Bro, I was so mad. The whole way. Y'all were like sleeping in chat because I was getting my ass beat over and over again. That's time I'm like, we got company, guys. Oh god, mice and, and buff mice? Why? Or are they rats? Oh, rats. Alright, guys, we're playing Plague Tale Innocence. Let's go. Oh no. I suppose beast never be the best term for these things. It's probably what your next destination is the path of beast was referring to. Another mystery solved. Watch out, there's a lot of them. This could get ugly. Ew! Ew! Stop shaking like that! Please! I hate that! Stop! Anyways, you got some good shit? Or like... Were rat and werewolf. Never mind. My bad. Yoink! Take that! <laughs> Bring it on, rat. Tear bomb, bro! Am I ever gonna do anything good other than attack three? Ow. 
good. Get your ass beat, Joshua. Where was the flexing? Rat jam? God damn it. Oh, the revenge is coming from Taco. <laughs> you even howl, bro? Yo, these guys are fucking wild. Wait, I forgot. Isn't my Chloe, like, really, really buff? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Chloe does to this wear rat. <laughs> Where are these rats and wolves? I don't see them. That's actually really funny. I'm sorry, I appreciate that a lot. Anyways. <laughs> yep. Chloe's still buff as hell. Yo, let's go, Chloe. <laughs> yeah! Chloe literally does more damage than everyone else in the team. She's just ridiculous. Her stab. Oh my god, she got stabbed for the same number. Alright, steal from the werewolf. Take that! Take that! Those are good. Reviving bombs are very valuable. They're a thousand bucks. Ow! I guess that was revenge. Okay, uh, let me just kill him. Let's do that. Let's end this. Oh wait, I forgot that Kevin is Sorry, stop using physical attacks on him. That's a fool. Oh my god, no, he... Bro, Joshua even does half the damage Chloe does. Chloe does so much damage. Look at this. That guy had 1,500 HP. He's dead. She's really slow, though. She doesn't get her turns very fast. Ow. Maybe I should take this more seriously. Ouch. Ah, uh, you know what? No, you can kill this guys. Actually, can I get both of them? I could with the uh, evil eye. Should I waste the CP? This does damage, right? I think it does? It does, but I missed one. Of course I did. I've never used that until now. That's useful. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that, fool. Get stabbed. Aw, oh, you little dizzy. What the fuck? <laughs> Joshua just got pitfalled? Come on. All right, all right. No more freaking jittering werewolves, please. I'm tired of your shit. I'll save you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone we got has not been here. That's actually really cool. Wow, that stun is really good. He's still stunned. This music I thought I'd get you experience. Let's move out. Genshin? You playing Genshin? <laughs> I'm actually going to try to sleep right after my stream today, and I feel like I'm going to fail at it. It's going to be hard. Yo, mid-game? The soundtrack is really good in this game. I'm liking it a lot. Also, hi, Panda. Also, bro, you loading up uh, Tower Fantasy? 
<laughs> Waiting to fight another day, huh? They're smart little devils. Devils do seem a lot more intelligent than your average monster. Enough to make you wonder whether these are another kind of impossible fiend like the rest. I'm with you. We can't pl pretend to be an expert on the monster of Le Man, but I'm pretty sure they're not this smart. Uh, this plane's gonna be so much fun. What is it? Uh, basically, people made a Genshin clone that's actually more multiplayer with MMO stuff in it. Basically, that's, that's what it is. It looks pretty good, though. It came out just tonight. Here she comes! You have done well to come this far. On this plane, there are three ordeals to overcome. Too bad Olivia isn't here. If you overcome them all, the next path will open. Take this. Take this! The ghost had on the map of the local. Be forewarned. The Lord of Phantasma's goal is your... God damn it. Zelda is your... <laughs> well, she sure didn't stick around long. She's probably got so little power left now, it's difficult for her to show herself to us. So it seems, it must be a frustrating thing to, for her to deal with. Still, she left us with a useful gift. Yeah. Open up the map of the locker. It's half filled, bro. Come on, man. Why would you put all these these faded steps? It's the lodge is in the top right where we are now. And there's this ball star channel place to the left of it. Think that's your deal she mentioned, or one of them at least. Wait, are we gonna go back into that dungeon? Is that what the ball star channel is? The fucking dungeon where I got my ass beat by Kurt. She mentioned there being three of them, but there's only one place I could fit that description mark on the map. I wonder where the other two could be. From what I can see, these two roads lead to lead to them. The ones that seem, just seem to stop all of a sudden. This plane most likely has its own rules that we need to follow. If we follow these roads now, there's a big chance that we're going to find a whole lot of nothing at the end of them. Unfortunately. Well, those are the cards we've been dealt. Let's just try heading over to the Ball Star Channel and see what comes of it. No, I'm going to go over here and get some treasure. Treasure. Oh, a safe point. Even more important, actually. Even more important. Also, this probably has better gear now, right? I don't actually look. Invisible bow? Yup, that's way stronger than the other- Wait, what the fuck? No, it isn't. Well, it is a lot- No, it has a that's way stronger, bro. R launcher? I don't like that word. Where is the gun? Oh, there it is. Yep, we need that. Oh my god, I just realized how expensive these are. Dude! This thing is 300 less damage than what Chloe has. I'm pretty sure getting that Vorpal Blade for Chloe was actually really crazy at this stage of the game. That shit was a rare ass drop, wasn't it? Holy moly. She deserves it though. I can get, uh, I don't know if I should waste all my money. You believe so? Yeah, like that, that that definitely feels like a super rare thing to have on Chloe. <laughs> that would actually be really, really strong if I put it on uh what's her what's her face? What's her face? Bro, what the hell what's your name? I actually forgot. I'm not even like I'm not doing this as like a bit or anything, I actually forgot her name. Bro, I'm I'm actually like full blanking out. Captain, uh, Lieutenant, uh... Oh my god. Was it Schwartz? Was it Schwartz? Was that her name? <laughs> Bro, I don't even know! Her! I bet she... I bet she'd be busted as hell. Because all of her attacks actually scale with her damage instead of unlike... Unlike Stabby Girl here. But I don't want to use her, so that's that's that. Oh, okay, so we got we've got level three stuff now. Julia, the, yeah, okay, Julia Schwartz. That's what was that in the name? Did I get? Did I put mine for on Kevin yet? I think I did. 
Impede four? Oh, I should not have used my green up. That's useful as hell. Wait, action four? Bro. They're giving me some really high level shit already. Doesn't make sense, but still, holy shit. But yeah, I think she would do crazy amounts of damage if I put that thing on her. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. Uh, no, she, he only has a mine two on. Oh shit. About to get him busted here. About to get everybody bust. Also, I'm pretty sure the last game only had two levels of upgrades here, so the fact there's a third slot now means there's gonna be some really high level gems later. Oh wait, I thought I had a mind four on her already. I don't even have a mind four on her. I gave her attack three though. Oh, I can give her action four. I think that might be better than cast. I'm gonna just have her stab people really fast. Yeah, you know what? Just ha I'm just gonna have Chloe stab people. That's gonna be how she heals everyone, okay? She's gonna stab everybody until we heal. What do you guys think about that plan? Is that a good plan? Last game at three slots? Really? I thought everybody only up to, went up to two. I mean, I could be wrong. It has been a while. Alright, that's good enough. Whatever, man. It's not like I'm playing on hard mode. I don't need a min-max. Am I right, everybody? Let's go. I just want to get stronger, and stronger, and stronger. Yes, treasure! Freezing meatballs. Nice. Run the recipe for freezing meatballs. Empty? No, my friend. I'm filled with artisan-style voidness. Thanks. Treasure! God damn it. Actually, I need that. Who's gonna- who else casts spells in my team? I guess Chloe really does. Might as well just upgrade this to mine floor. I gotta load up the slot. Damn it. Oh, I didn't talk to the fucking chest a lot. The three upgrade slots were in SC2, but it was really late in SC, and then you came about when you crashed into the guard. Oh. Oh, right, because the third. Wait, was it third level things? Like the weird named ones that were like Mind 5 and shit? But they had a different name? I think I remember that. Mr. Tittles looks up with annoyed expression. You disturbed his nap, sorry. Carnelia bracelet. Will flavor will write flavor text for food. Well, I got some freezing meatballs for you. Does that help? Found luck. Thank God. Oh, finally, I needed that. Oh man, I'm so ready for gatches now. I'm so ready for gatches. Let's go. Hold on. What does that do? Isn't that like better item drop or something? Well, first of all. Why does Joshua have an attack too? Come on, man. Come on, man. Wait, what? Oh, right, I gotta upgrade a slot. You know who would have luck? Josette. She would have luck. She don't need no poison. Never mind, she does. Increase item drop rate by 30%? Yeah. Yeah, we want that. How do I, how do I put that? Anything that's not reserved for something. Alright, I don't wanna remove that. Uh, I might want to remove that. Alright, there you go. Okay, uh, let me go... Wait, did I already talk this? I'm not reading that. Alright, let's go. Let me just do this real quick upgrade. For, uh... For Chloe here, so that she can wear mine too. There we go. Oh, sorry, mine four. Chloe! Chloe! Here you go! You're welcome! Actually, wait, can I make any more EP gems? I want these casters to have more mana. Oh, I can! Probably should. Frick! I think EP cut would have been better than EP up. By a lot. Damn it! Ah, shit. Whatever. 
Gotta keep making Chloe better. Oh wait, did I make an EP4? Or is it EP3? I don't remember anymore. I can't remember shit. I don't think you need move plus two, actually. Here you go. Alrighty then. Oh wait, how do I get the AoE heal again? What was that called? Oh, this one, Latira. Okay, I'm right here. Tier all. Very good. Okay. All right, we're saving that. Let's go. Let's go kill things. It's killing time. Unless there's a treasure over here. Nope. It's the PNG of the world. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we're just gonna quick travel, I see. Okay. True. Nice world map. <laughs> if you just skip the whole forest. Alright, we take those. Sure is dark here. Still, I guess you can't expect much in the way of light from a staircase leading into an underground waterway. Hey, you know what? Fuck that forest anyway. I hated that forest. From what I've heard, this used to be an old ruin until the bra uh, bracer guild repurposed it as a training area. Why the heck is it so hot here, though? You think an underground waterway would be so nice? Would be nice and cool, but it's like stepping into an oven. It is pretty damn hot. That weird rumbling sound I could hear has been bugging me for a while too. Actually, I think we're almost at the end, so maybe I'll cool down in a second. Okay, this is now a lava sewers. What in the world? It certainly explains the heat. Call me an optimist, but I doubt this is how the place normally is. Let's write this one off as our enemies work. I think that's a safe assumption to make. Which means we're gonna really need to proceed cautiously. We're in Lethal Lava Land! Yay! We're gonna find Bowser! You guys excited to find Bowser? We're gonna beat that beat that bitch's ass. Okay, nothing in that whole hallway. Is that actually it? Did I miss anything? I, I'm very ner I get very concerned when I walk down a hallway and literally nothing happens. All right, I guess there's really nothing here. Okay. Cool. This music, though? How can the music just keep fucking hitting so hard? All this goddamn music be hidden. Now I want to hear that music more, not this one. Oh my, I made Chloe so fucking fast with action four. Now she can just immediately stab someone. Look at that. Mm. Shupaisi. Wait, and she's gonna go again before the rats even go yeah. once? She's so fast. I made her so fast. She's looping people now. I gotta get everybody attacked at action four gems, obviously. Holy shit, that makes a big difference. Take that! She's going again. Look at this. She's actually a frontline fighter. I don't know if you guys realize that. But, uh... I like to imagine Chloe just like going full yeah. Marth, Marth style approaches. She is basically Marth, so. All right, what's next? <laughs> She's going around shield breaker spamming really fast. Oh god, is it this one? I don't remember how any of this works. Oh, that's good. That's part of the other way. Oh, actually, like fucking. Close that damn gate. I mean, bridge, sorry. Nice! This is like some really positive music for a lava filled hell of a. You guys feel that way, or is it just me? This is not what I expected this place to sound like at all. A lava snail? God! This place has everything! Oh yeah, Lu I guess Lucina makes more sense, huh? Marth's great, 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 great granddaughter. That Marth. I mean, Lucina, fuck. Positive and somewhat dreamy? Yeah, basically. I like it. 
Oh, wait, 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 we gotta steal from these snails. Snails might have a cool place to steal. Take that! That was not a sentence. Take that! EP charge! That is super valuable! What the frick? I need those! Oh man, these guys have a lot of armor. They blocked so much of that. Yo, give me that other one. Take give that. me an EP charge. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna steal from every snail. No snail will have anything in their pockets when I'm through with them. Their pockets are all gonna be completely empty. I have diamond dust? Oh. Okay, go ahead and do that. I don't think anything's gonna live to do that, but whatever. Huh. Oops. That's that classic Joshua. Holy shit. Did he, did he just do 6,000 damage on AoE? <laughs> not bad. No, yeah, I guess not. Alright, dude. Oh, wait, I didn't check what the Carnelia locket was. What is that? Oh, I'm sorry, bracelet. Prevents all st stat downs? Yo, hold up. What? I kind of want that. I'm going to be honest. I kind of want that. Maybe I'll put that on. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do anything. We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Wrong. And this is also wrong. What? Did I completely disorient myself already? It's been like five seconds. How am I this lost already? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. These levers are really dumb, by the way. Like, there's literally, there's, there's this, oh, never mind, I'm stupid, I'm the one who's dumb. I thought I could have both these open, but nope. Clearly I am the dumb one, who would have thought? Surely not I. I should really start speaking up these animations. I keep forgetting it's an option. I'm getting too into the game again. Such a good time playing this game. I wish it was easier for people to get into watching it. <laughs> I can entirely understand why, though. You gotta be really into just fucking block being thrown up your ass and then just stop it all of a sudden just playing. That's the one difference between this and like a visual novel. You can kind of watch a visual novel, it's just gonna be like watching a fucking show. Because okay, it's just constantly just dialogue and plot happening. This one, there's plot, and then you gotta sit through this bullshit. If you're watching, it's probably not as fun watching this. Uh, I'm having a good time playing it, because I fucking love this kind of fighting. Yeah! But I can see why it wouldn't be fun to watch. Stab him! That's screamy? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah! My game is too loud compared to me? Nani? Okay. <laughs> I can lower it. Is that better? I don't know if that made it better or not. Alright, what's next? You see where the chat lights up with opinions on how best to approach combat? I think my problem is I have yet to uh, accumulate a big enough crowd of JRPG enthusiasts that watch me. So I don't get any of that. It's just me thinking aloud while I'll run like brain AFKs. Heat resistant boots! 
Didn't Sunday school teach you not to steal? I bet you were one of those kids who slept through lessons. Yeah, well, I bet you're dumb. Got him. All right, what does this do? Are these good? 69 speed? Nice. You know who's gonna get these speed boots, right? <laughs> you know who's gonna get those, right? Oh, yeah. 86 speed? Bro, can we? How fast? Wait, reduces cutting damage received by walking on lava. Well, you can walk on lava? Alright, whatever, man. Sure. Here you go. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, look how fast look how fast Chloe is. She's going so fast. She's literally like skipping the line. There's two EP charges. Bonus critical? Bro, this rat is fucking dead. No, I don't want to kill the snail. That's the only person I can bonus critical right now. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry, I gotta waste the bonus critical, man. I don't want to stab my EP charge just yet. You guys know what I'm saying? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down here? Stabbing that EP charge would not be a good thing. Yeah! Ayo, give me, give me that. Take that! No, no, you're gonna take that. Take that! Very good. Good job, Josette. All right, now you can kill the rat. Oh, you have rush. You're gonna go again. Go for the double stab. Hot! Wow, that did no damage. You're very armored up. What is happening? This guy is just resisting. Just stop. Stop it, dude. Just die. Take that! Give me EP charge! Thank you. Very cool. What? Bro, are they building up armor every time I hit them or something? Like, they're taking less and less damage, I realize. <laughs> yeah, that's literally, that is literally what she's doing. She's using a hookshot to pickpocket people. Guys, what is penetrate? Is penetrate specifically the, the fact that she, he hits everyone in a line, or is it that it does like does it go through armor? Is that like I don't know what penetrate specifically is. I'm actually curious about that. I gotta start building up CP. I'm weak to water. I don't have any water. Over there. That's fine. Take this earth lance. Holy shit, she took a lot of damage. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Yay, level ups. Did I go here yet? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. That's where I came from. Never mind. Major UF Pi. What? I am content without my content contents? Wait, there's two doors. Dude, which door do I take first? Oh no, should I take the other door first? Uh oh, which which one is gonna lead to my to me losing loot? The nine one? We don't we haven't found the nine door yet. That one in the front looks more important than this one coming up, so... I'm gonna say this is the better door to use. <laughs> Run 
We're gonna have to do the ending where we accidentally kill Josette's fucking brothers. And then she's just gonna kill us later because we fucked up real bad. Huh. And it's gonna make sense because I like Josette a lot, therefore it'll be the same amount of pain. For me! Oh, hey everybody, how are you doing? Check these eyes out. <laughs> Pepe Stare, or whatever it's called. I think it's just called Stare. You guys only have health, so I'm just gonna beat their asses. Yeah. Na, 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 na. What does that mean? That means I can't do anything. Except I can steal. I'm starting to heal. Everyone's full health though. But for how long? How long will that be the case? <laughs> Earth wall! Wow, wow, that was the luckiest Josh was ever been. That was literally the luckiest Josh was ever been. He really just dodged death. Like, that was, he actually literally dodged death. And now it's time for me to apply death to you. You were gonna die regardless, but whatever. Oh, wait, 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 we can do it. We can do a penetrator. Time for us to penetrate. <laughs> done and done. That's that then. Let's move out. I was about to say, did he stop saying let's move out after that? And then he said it. So. Price is averted. Okay. Um. This is a lever. Move it? Yes. Lower the lava. Wow, it actually lowered the lava. Is this where I get to walk in lava and hurt myself? Does that make sense? It's okay though, because Chloe has heat resistant boots, but no one else does. Right? Oh my god, I remember those. Yay, treasure! Thanks, Taco. Thank you so much for that. I should have my bot randomly pull every so often on a timer. I don't think I can do that with my bot. More heat resistant boots! Don't spend it all in one place. Run along now. I can't spend boots, actually. That doesn't make sense. Okay. At least that wasn't me being poor. Ow, 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 ow. Um. Oh, she's actually just individually taking damage in there? Wow, okay. Good to know, I guess. It's a little quick skip through the lava. That's apparently a thing you can do in this game. Makes sense. Oh, I see two EP charges walking around. Uh, I gotta put Chloe up front. She's literally supposed to stab people and I put her way too far behind. Okay. Oh, that was fun. See you later, Chloe. It was a good time. Go while it lasted. Go while it lasted. Alright. Hey, she's back. Stab the rat. Uh, you don't know. Stab the... Hey. Oh, got a rush? Which one was it that uh, I need to still steal from? This one, right? Yeah, screw it. Holy 
Molly, that did so much damage. Wait, what? They can divide? Wait, 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 wait. Does this mean what I think it means? Now that they divided, do both of them have EP charges? Take that! Damn it. I thought it was so smart. I'm really gonna stop using. I'm realizing now how ridiculous it is that Chloe's still damaging them because they have really high defense, clearly. I'm supposed to use spells to kill them, but I just. I just, I just killed them instead. I can't even. Okay. She just went twice. Cool. <laughs> Nicely done. Treasure! Reviving Bomb. Congratulations, you're the second adventurer to open this chest. This is why there's nothing left in it. Found an EP charge, nice! There's nothing left in this chest, mon ami. Am I sure? Treasure. Wait. Treasure. Treasure. That's literally how I say it! I say treasure! Yo, fuck you, game! Oh, nice. Just judge the dungeon not by the color of its textures, but by the content of its treasure chest. Game is as unpredictable. Yeah, I guess so. Treasure, treasure. I love treasure. Treasure is my favorite. Can we make all the lava go away? That is okay. Sure. Lava, walk. Go. Wow, Joshua is the only person not wearing lava boots. By the way, look at his HP. Oh God, it hurts. It hurts. He's dead. Joshua's dead, everybody. That barely healed him. Alright, uh, I think I didn't check this. Wait, is there, you know, um... Uh... Okay, cool. Actually, hold on. This is important. What does this guy have in his pockets? Oh god, he is so dead. If I don't heal him right now. I have no mana. Uh-oh. Anyways, it's fine. The Great Abyss. Take this! <laughs> Bitch. Let me heal. Joshua, I need you not to die! Joshua! You're literally gonna die. I need to heal you somehow. I guess I can do this. It's not gonna heal a lot. I'll save you! Yeah. Am I, I keeping you alive? I'll save you! I'll save you! I'll save you! Alright, let's see what he has in his pockets. Take that! Cheer up, bomb! That's really good too! That's like a, that's like a fucking 8,000 heal, right? I didn't realize yet she had vanished, but alright, that's cool, I guess. That's cool, I guess. Let's end this! Strike! Enough damage! Yeah! Damn it! I couldn't kill him fast enough. Not the matter. Now do a real vanish. Oh, where'd he go? Well, that takes care of that. Alright, well, that was cool. I'm out of here. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, I went the wrong way. God damn it. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, cool. So this was an optional side. Good to, good to know. Good to know. Now I can go to the real side. I should probably heal my team. That's probably a very good idea for me to do. Why don't I do that? Oh my god, I need to restore her damn EP too. I really do. Do I use one of my EP charges? I got 12 of them now. Uh, I'm so I hate how Vanish literally takes all your mana away. That's so annoying. 
Wait, hold on. I just realized she does have a physical damage dealing scaling attack. Wait a minute. Hold on. How much damage is it going to do? That did, wait, that actually did more damage. Oh my god. And she's dead. Shit, I'm in here. Not now. Wait, 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 get, him, get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. What, what do I got? What do I got? I got a marsh orange. Strong alcoholic drink. Here you go. Come on, let's do it! Is that, was that, is that a heal still going to target Joshua, or is it going to go somewhere else down the side? Please tell target Joshua. Please. No! Oh, he just healed himself. Dang it. What I wanted. Do this. Uh, I mean this. Sorry. Now, light of the heavens, heal these battered wings. Radiant flash. All right, let's reset. Wait, was it? Oh, I shouldn't have two hundred CP. Oh yeah, I did a stab. So. Y'all ready for the double stab? Hot ya! And hot ya! And what are these? I'm not even gonna reach. You really got guard on right now. What a horrible time to get guard. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, she's still alive. Snails are so annoying. Well, that takes care of that. These damn snails, man. Oh wait, hold on. Let me fix some things. First things first. Chloe, you're clearly a frontliner. We don't we don't mess with that, right? Joshua is a sideliner. That makes sense, right? This looks kind of good, maybe. I don't really know. I think this looks fine. Yeah, it's like Y formation. Oh wait, the other thing is I want to use those charges. Specifically on Chloe. Uh, you know, I'll stick to that. Now Chloe can at least heal a little bit. She's pretty good at healing. Don't kill me. Damn it. Oh, it's only one guy. Guard, no! Chloe got screwed by guard. Dang it. She can't do anything then. I guess she could walk. Aha! Now what are you gonna do? Oh good. EP I'm gonna refund that EP charge. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, Taco. I kept mentioning not bad, not bad at all to you. But you never remember that sound command. So you can do it now that I remembered about it. And you're gonna see why I kept thinking about that every time she said it in Plague 2. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Imagine going to a field, picking up a snail and shaking it, and then a fully charged power bank drops out. That would be awesome. When you're in a pinch, and you forgot to charge your phone, and you're in the middle of a desert, just shake a snail. Easy. 
easy solution. Oh wait, I guess I could have just done a fucking aqua blue with her too last time. Instead of like wasting the freaking turn by walking. That might have been a slight mistake, but alright, that's fine. Wait, mist that terminates all amb ambition? Cancels all arts and of crafts? <laughs> Those poor kindergarten students! They were just trying to make snowflakes! They wanted to make snowflakes in cute little... <laughs> Cardboard cutouts! This shit literally cancels it! Wow. No arts and crafts for anybody. Oh wait, I got distracted. I was trying to cast something else and I just totally distracted myself. Alright, let's go. EP heal? That's what happened to you in high school? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Nicely done. Me trying to draw something for fun in high school. Some, uh, someone else, the teacher, impede. Impede trigger, 25%. No arts and crafts. Sad times. Did I already move this? Not right. Move to the left because the right is where I have to move it. Treasure! Boop. Nice. I'm smart. I get how the levers work. I'm a lever guy. Lever girl! <laughs> uh, I wish levers could talk because I would write that line for them. Lever girl. <laughs> it's not even funny, but I'm laughing. And that's the best part. All right, everybody got heat resistant boots now. Would you also like a <laughs> like a coffee? By the way, that was a rhetorical question. Hey, fuck you. I can't you I'm so glad when I say something so ridiculous, Wazika has to type something in chat. That's that's how you know I've made it. <laughs> Uh, oh. Okay, treasure? Treasure. If I turn left, it's treasure. Yes, you know what that makes me, right? <laughs> Y'all know what that makes me, right? I shall name this lever Blue. Wait, I don't get that one. Wait, I don't get that one. Hold on, wait, is that, a, is that something I just don't get? Or do you just want to name the lever Blue? Asia. Are there no enemy treasures in this game? Dragon tree jumpsuit. Warning, do not store children in the chest. Okay. Anyways, uh, who the hell, what does that do? Clothes with high arts resistance made from withered trees. It doesn't look like that's a very high arts resistance. It's 15, is that a lot? Oh, I guess it is when considering that he has 13. Wait. Bro, this guy takes like a massive amount of damage from arts. Kevin, meanwhile, has 400 defense. She has 615. Oh my god, what is going on here? Chloe and Joshua get destroyed by arts, man. Did I make Chloe even more ridiculous? Uh, yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, I didn't open this treasure chest. I thought I'd do this one. Oh, no, wait, this is going in for a while. Uh, let's not do that just yet. I didn't go this way. Whoop. Bonus critical. Uh, take this. Take that. Take that. Yeah, you know what? Just kill him. Can you get now? I don't think you're strong enough to, unless I do a dual strike. Go! There we go. That's damage. Na 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 na
Do you guys ever get really annoyed when there's like really good music playing? And then I just start humming over it? And then just ruining it? You guys ever get annoyed about that? Genuinely curious. I used to have people who get mad at me because I would hum over things they wanted to listen to. And it made me kind of sad because I was just having a good time. <laughs> I'm not talking about on stream, I'm talking about like in real life. That's that one. Let's move out. Can I see people enjoying a piece of media? Appreciate it. I get I am very hummy. No matter what I fucking play, if I get into the music, I'm just gonna start fucking singing it. Or humming it. Or, or making up my own lyrics to explain what's going on while in the in the theme of the song. That's my favorite thing to do. Before I even stream. Joke's on you, this treasure wasn't tax deducted. Fuck. Man. Shit. Lord. Lord. Found attack four! Sorry, I accidentally picked gold for a second. <laughs> that was my bad. I hate when that happens. Alright, let me, uh, I should equip that. You know who gets it, right? Obviously, Chloe! Duh, Chloe's my all arounder. She gets all the damage. Mmm, spicy. She, I, I have made Chloe so ridiculously powerful for no reason, and I fucking love it. Turn it right for the treasure. That, used to, that was like a really good treasure in the first game. I don't, on the second game, I don't know what it was. Actually, I do entirely remember these fuck this lever puzzle. There was water here before, but this is this all led up to the fight with Kurt. So I'm kind of worried we're about to get Kurt. I don't want Kurt. You know? You know what I'm saying? Casey Mongio voice act as pro. Wait, I don't know who that is, but they're voice acting a bird? Damn. How could that happen? Are you playing Tower of Fantasy right now, Glitch? I'm honestly, like, really intrigued. I saw that door, by the way. By that door. Kaiser Knuckles. Never gonna be using that. I'm glad I'm not a pirate chest. Those are usually buried underground. The score bunny? Oh, so it actually... They're actually built... Oh wait, I was just here. Where the hell am I? Wait, how did I miss the door? Am I a dumb? Oh, you gotta go through the lava that way? Wait, how do I do that? What? How do I get there? Oh, is it like this? Ah, here we go. Cool, what is this? The star door. Bring to me the girl who entrusts her feelings to her blade. Who the fuck is that? Oh, is that Annalise? I hope it's Annalise. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of girls who love their blades, okay? Like, I don't know if that really narrows anything down, but I guess we'll have to see. Feather brooch. Brooch. Chest will remember that? Oh. EP charge, yay! Oh, you found my treasure. What, you want a medal? Perhaps in another chest. Damn it. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. I probably should've just <laughs> to it. Wait, does Annalise- Annalise uses a sword too. And I feel like she's pretty, uh, like, crazy about getting stronger all the time. Which is why she and Estelle always compete. That's the only thing that would make sense to me, like, at, a, at an immediate, like, just thought. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna try using Silent Cross. I'm gonna end Arts and Crafts. Let's go. I'll end you! 
one. Bam! Did I buy a gun for Josette and forget to equip it, or did I never buy? Did I never buy the gun? I don't remember. Oh, it actually canceled the arts and crafts. Nice. It didn't do any damage though. Wait, what? Oh shit, we're almost all dead. I didn't even realize that until the music changed. This is the first time I've heard this song in this game. Looking hot. Uh, you know what? Just stay. Hey! Does this divide their stats? I only have 100 HP each. Can I, uh, do this? Damn! Wow, really, dude? You just barely didn't kill him? Take that! Cool. There we go. Music can stop now. Vanish! I kind of wanted to like, hold on, I can still do it. I'm building Joshua have a moment. Joshua, this is all you, don't mess up. I need you to not mess up, Josh. God damn it, that was my fault. I got too greedy on this, but whatever. Whatever, just do it. <laughs> Joe, that's craft your Bon Bon level whack? Yeah, they really are. It's really funny to me. Stan! <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Level up! Gummy eyeball? Ew! A gummy snail eyeball. Ah, eh, gross. I don't like it. I don't like gummy snail eyeballs. Alright, let's go. You know what I haven't done, guys? Guys, you know what I have not done for literally two hours? Oops. Oh, here we go. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eat water? I haven't done that either. Actually, I haven't done that at least once. You know that means there's a boss coming up, right? I... Why... Mmm... Mmm... Guys, hold on. I have something really important to do. Oh no, what happened? Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my god. Oh my... No, hold on. No, stop look- everyone, don't look at the screen! Don't look at the screen! There is nothing there! Don't worry about it! Ignore all of that that just happened. Erase from memory. So you can be surprised in a little bit. <gasps> Ren! Oh my god, if Ren joins me, she's in the party. I don't- I'm gonna have to boot everybody for Ren. Sure, I'm glad I just saved. <laughs> sure, sure there wasn't anything laced in there? I know what you're going for, but god damn, that sounds bad. That sounds like something real bad happened. Alright. Refresh chat? Oh, shit, sorry. Fine, rat jam can be seen. Okay, there you go. Rats. Alright, let me go get the full restore before I go fight anything that might be happening soon. I really, I really hope we see Annalise in this area. It'd be really nice if we get to see Annalise here. I'm like, 
I really like Analyze, and it'll make it really hard for me to choose who to keep my party. And I have a kind of feeling that, oh man, I, do I, do, do, I wish I could kick Joshua out. I sure wish I could kick Joshua out of my team. That would be so nice. But anyways, you know, that's, that's besides the point. Clearly, like, we gotta, we gotta really focus up here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! It's Adelaide! Adelaide? Whoa! Yo, why are those... Why are those wolf werewolves even more beefed up than before? This is where we fought Kurt, by the way, so... Adelaide's being here is kinda sus. Another grimoire, not the real thing. It's like she compl she's completely lifeless. Well, at least that means we don't need to hold back until avoid hurting her. Oops. Let's do this. Watch it be real Analyze and just kick her ass. Bro, I'm so tired of these jittery ass bitches, man. Like, like, like why? Why are these guys like that? Why, why are they doing this? I can't reach them. What the fuck? They're so far away. Why'd you guys start all, over, all the way over there? Huh? Where's Zapper? I don't know, man. A ask someone else. I wouldn't know where the fuck you put the zapper, bro. Like, why are you even asking me that? Oh, we take the most damage from the garage. Yep, they definitely have a lot of beefy, beefy HP, if you know what I'm saying. Because I really don't. I don't know what I'm saying now. Uh, how dumb of an idea is this? Does this scale? I don't know what Sanctus Nova scales on. I feel like it scales on ATS, which means it's probably in the state. So I probably should not do that. Instead, I'm gonna do this. No, I should have done that. I should have. Damn it. I should have done that with, uh, with my other girl. Please tell me I have a good Mirage spell. Uh, Chaos Breath. Does this do damage? I really hope it does. Oh, well, you know what? We'll just do a... Uh, we'll do Stampede with... Oh, I can't even reach that either. Can I steal? Damn, dude, why are you guys so far away? Can you guys get a little closer, please? This music, though. Here we go. Oh, thanks for getting close. Ah, oh, yeah. I meant permanently. Fucking smartass. So you stun How dare you do that? Resist. Uh, that doesn't do anything. It's no. I thought that would be damage, but it does not. That does damage. Okay, cool. Can, uh, can we wait for up though? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we stop with all that, please? Thank you. That'd be very nice if you all stop doing what you're doing. Good thing I have this. Wait. All ailments, right? I'm pretty sure this works the way I think it does. I'll save you! Yeah! We give them stat downs, yes? Yes? Okay, cool. Alright. Chloe, do what you do best. Stab shit. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Also, do this. I will. One no more. First time I did this in this game. This battle is good. Ready! Head to break! Cool. Nice damage. I'd like to get my hands on that damage. Can I stun these guys? I kind of want to... No. Um, okay, well, I'll do this at least. Bomb. Oh. <laughs> nice damage. Analyze, no. Uh, I... Oh, I want to do this. It does do slightly more damage. Yay. Also, she's dying horribly of poison. 
Why don't we do this? Again. I'll save you! Yeah! What the f what? How did why was that how is that a miss? How in any way was that a miss? She clearly went flying. Was she just pretending? How she missed the ground? How she do that? Is it because she was using air an aircraft? Alright, whatever man. I guess we shouldn't question it too much. Oh god, that's a really strong one. Oh, she's not even using her voice, man. She didn't even we don't even get to hear Cassandra Lee Morris. What is this? Why would they do this to us? 6669. <laughs> Finish them off. Alright, uh, I need you to do this. Please. I didn't want you to put them all the way back there, but you know what? Sure, we take that. I'll save you! Yeah! Step it up. More like. Separate swap. <laughs> Bonus critical. Uh, can I do this? I feel like he's gonna probably. Oh wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Annalise, you got anything good in your pockets? Take that. Annalise? I don't care if you anything to steal. <laughs> That's so awkward because her name was Annalise with a question mark. So it looked like a really weird, dramatic pause in the middle of a sentence. Annalise? Nothing to steal. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Hold on. Yo, hold on, wait a minute. I could be making I could be doing even more Chloe damage. It's apart from first chapter's battle thing. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, you mean that 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 part? You're right! I didn't even I was literally just humming it without even thinking about it. But that's what I do apparently. Yo, check out this damage. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see Chloe's full potential? Go! Right, oh, wait. Go! Super stab, Annalise! Ooh, that's a lot of damage, yo. Hold on, now she's gonna be all fleshy. She's kinda into that. Dodge it! Dodge it! Come on, dodge it! That was so cool. Like a fly, you know what I'm saying? Alright, thank you. Alright, enough of that. So the fact that Josette dodged that probably saved her from certain death. I don't think she would have survived that in any way. Like, at all. Can I? Oh, I'll stab Peter again. Take that! Huh? Huh? Whoa! Oh, oh, he didn't. She didn't resist the important part. Do the damage. Oh, you have 20k HP now. Do it. Do it. See what happens. Oh, is that supposed to hurt? I kind of did, but we ignore that. We pretend it doesn't. That's how we do. Wait, I'm about to die. Uh. Hold on. 18 delay. Nice. Okay, alright. I hold in my hand the chalice of heaven. May its holiest of lights act as our shield. Grail Spear! Max 
Ice Guard! Keep going! Just keep doing it! Keep doing the thing! Dude, imagine if she crit though! She only got- she, she isn't even critting any of these! Oh, who do you want? You want Pikachu? Pikachu, of course. Yep. Oh. Go! Come on, let's do it! Wow, they're both range attacks. That was a big that was a beefy, beefy bird. Y'all see that bird damage? That was wild. Wait, guard's not gonna help against poison. Sorry, Joe. Before Joshua loses all the XP. Yeah. What? Oh, come on! See if I care. See if I care. See if I care. What? All you do is pull us together. You didn't actually damage us. And Joe's that dodged it. How you do that? All right, whatever, man. You shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. That was a mistake, Fate Analyze. Because of this! <laughs> this guy is dying horribly of poison. Wait, hold on. I've got an idea. Oh, you don't know. I'm just going to Take that! Huh? Huh? And now, this is the final strike! Sturm 2! Done. This is the final strike! I'm so far! Uh, classic. Actually, isn't that also fucking the same voice actor as Joshua? That makes sense. Proxy Puppet. I wonder who that is! I forget, yo, if that's Kurt, I'm gonna be mad. Bro, if that's Kurt, after I killed Adelaide, I'm gonna be actually pissed off. Ew, that wraps that up. Yeah, it's really, it is. Really, I noticed that it's really generous and separate. But I have heard this game is short, much shorter than the other two games, so I can see it being like a quick run kind of game. Yeah, that wraps wraps that up. Sure does. Probably no prize for guessing who's in the ceiling stone either. It, it's Kurt. Let's head back to base and let her out. It's Kurt. It's Kurt. It's probably Kurt. I don't. I'm not. I don't believe it until I see it. I don't believe it until I see it. I love Annalise, man. She got like no screen time in the second game, except for the beginning. Alright, let's go. First of all, let's do this. Okay. Let's go see. Let's go see who's in the ball. Let's go see. You guys think it's Kurt? They're gonna they have to debate us at least once, right? Okay, first of all, let me do this. Here we go. It's so weird, we don't have, uh we don't even have Reese anymore on these intros. I only believe it when I see it. What? Oh, the door's gonna open. I didn't even realize there was, oh wait, that's not, there's a foggy map, cool. I guess we are going to the forest after all. You think it's going to be Estelle and not Alice? I'll be okay with that. Huh? Is she sleeping? What? Okay, it is Alice. No, I, I, got, I got a little bit debated there for a second. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Cuteness is... Justice. Fortune favors the cute. Keep your friends close and your plushies closer. <laughs> smart words for smart people. I love Annalise. I don't think anyone else in history has ever said any of those things, especially that last bit. She seems so happy though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I can bring myself to wake her up. So she was just sleeping? 
She was sleeping when the freaking flash happened. <laughs> she doesn't even know what the hell's going on right now. She thinks she's just sleeping. In that case, I have a plan of my own. I shall sleep alongside her. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm not even gonna read the rest of your life. If you're up for a nap, that could be arranged. I have a few tricks that can knock you out in no time. <laughs> the way he writes this fucking... The way he, this is written just makes me think of... Makes me think of Jumpy, because Jumpy does this sometimes. I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm not... Okay, like, before I... I before I say anything else, I'm not saying you are a Oliver, Jumpy. I'm just saying that one line reminds me of you. That's the way it's done. Okay? Hehe. <laughs> hey, you tried. Mm. <laughs> Jumpy end him? Alright. Seems she's finally woken up. Huh? It's good to see you again, Annalise. Um, good morning? Have a nice dream? Sure sounds like you were. Hmm, Tita, Joshua, and Chloe are going to be the pride of my collection. But Julia and that girl over there are pretty cute too. You were- that was so close to being perfect. <laughs> that was so close to being perfect, damn it. Oh man. <laughs> Also true though, because it was the same voice as uh, Annalise, so I guess that haunt was for Annalise. What are you talking about? Oh, but Zen's like a big fluffy bear, so he's actually kind of nice. And Kevin's hair kind of reminds me of a sea urchin, and that's not so bad either. <laughs> I don't know who bought me all these new plushies, but they're the best. She thinks we're all life-size stuffed toys. Man, how drowsy do you have to be? Dude, that's like the best intro ever. You thought it was the game? <laughs> Aw, that was me thinking I'd gotten a bunch of amazing new plushies to add to my collection. Way to crush a girl's dreams, guys. Well, sorry for being a human being. Can't believe that's your first reaction to everything you've just been told. Oh wait, that was after... That was after we just explained the whole situation to her? Okay, dude. That's so cute! Look at her face! Guys. Today, I might be a shellfish of some sort. I know that's not very unusual, but hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'll hop into serious mode now. I'm still having a heck of a time processing the situation. But I do know you're not lying. Besides, the proof that th this is all real is right in front of my eyes. The only real Tita, only the real Tita can be that irresistibly cute. <laughs> well, just as long as you get it. So, what are you gonna do? Would you be helping us up for helping us investigate? Put me in, coach! I wouldn't be much of a bracer if I wasn't willing to do anything in the face of a crisis like this. Especially if it's true something's happened to the Lockle. There might be other bracers there who have ended up in the same situation as me. There's no way I'm turning my back on them. That's certainly a possibility. You know, yeah, me too. Although I feel like she'd probably follow the rule of everyone else of just calling her a very cute nun girl. Or in her outfit. But yes, that would have been nice. Other bracers? Really? That's a good point. We know a few, quite a few of them, too. Well, we've overcome one ordeal, but that still means we have two left on our plates. Who do we replace? Sh I don't know, man. Chloe's kicking ass. Josette's, like, doing work, too, with stealing shit for me. And I really enjoy that mechanic. I can't... T like, the, there's this one logic line that I have right now, but it's not gonna- it's not gonna be a good one. It's gonna make some people upset. I think. But, uh... Wasn't Chloe basically there, like, all game in the second chapter while I only got analyzed for, like, five seconds? You know the drill. Now that we've done the first, let's go back to the fourth plan and see what's changed. Right. Let the fun begin anew. Fuck. Wait. Does Annalise use the same kind of sword? She doesn't, right? Bro, does she? Yo, her with Vorpal Blade? Wait, whoa. Wait. Roger! 
Yay, we can. Yo, y'all hear that? Cassandra Lee Morris? Let's go! Roger! Let's go! That's Asahina! Or. Roger! Morgana! Or Sothis! Let's go! Or a lot of other people! Roger! She's just everywhere! Let's go! She's great! Roger! Roger! Let's go! Yay! All right, I'll bring Chloe back. Uh, you know what? I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more. Uh, there's gotta be more split parts where we get to use more characters. There's way too many fucking characters. Mm, let me check. Does she use swords the same okay. way? <gasps> I didn't even build up to this. I forgot. She's, bro. This is so good. This is so good. Where'd she even get the ice cream from? Oops, sorry. I'm pretty sure, bro, I'm pretty sure. No, it oh wait, this is a different, this is a katana. No, it's a different kind of sword. Frank! These are, these are, no. Rapiers and katanas are different, shit. I can't use OP weapon. Best art? I actually think so, yeah. That's what the fuck? That's actually even better than Tita. Soldier Tabby? Holy shit. Bro. Crushed my cuteness. I gotta steal some of Chloe's gear now because it's really good. I gave her really good gear. <laughs> Yo, the fucking Vorpal Sword. I feel like- I wonder if there's gonna be a reference to something. Once a Traveler's? Like, who the fuck were- who used a Vor Vorpal Sword? I do actually need the heat resistant boots though, like, just for the freaking resistance. Not because of the stats. Anyways, I don't have a good sword for her, unfortunately. So her strength is oh, her strength is actually really low for everyone. She has less damage than Josette. That's not good. Oh wait, these things are actually worse. In terms of pure defense. That's Am I still gonna be walking through lava? Oh no, I'm going to a forest. I'm not gonna be walking through any more lava. Right? I guess it's fine. Da 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 Wave. I can't make a single katana yet. That makes sense. Oh, I can make soldiers tabbies for everybody. I don't got the money though. Oh wait, I guess I could be. I haven't been converting Seppeth at all for money. I think I should do that more. Especially with all this fire, water, and earth stuff that I got going on here. I know I shouldn't touch these ones. They're more valuable, but they're way more rare. Give me a new weapon for Reese, and Reese can't even be in the party. That's very upsetting. What would they do this to me? How could they do this to me? Oh, 
I keep seeing the moon glasses and thinking this is Chrono Trigger. Because I'm pretty sure moon glasses are fucking broken in Chrono, Chrono Trigger. Or was it Chrono Cross? I know I never got them in one of the games. I don't think I got it in Chrono Cross. Because I forgot to steal from certain bosses. Yo, what's up, Juan? So you're playing a piano? Yo, what the f- I just realized how much agility this fucks up if I wear this, even though it has so much speed. That's a lot of lost agility and stats in general. For 15- 15 speed, though, like... That's a lot of speed. You know? Juan, do you, do you agree that Annalise here is super cute? I'm very happy that I have her in my team again. She was in the previous games, like everyone else. If you're trying to play Apex, but Dust is completely freaking out over a bug, I would be too. Unironically. <laughs> if that happened to me, dude, I almost had to end stream because there was a fly in my room once. I'm a loser. Okay? I'll admit it. I'll admit it 100%. Oh, this is ATS up? Oh my god, I didn't even use that. Mana Babunka Dunk? What the fuck does that mean? Does that, does that mean you'd probably like Sherazard more? Probably. I think that's what it means. Da -da. ATS up. I don't want to give her ATS up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, oh. I knew it was a fly. It was on my wall, like right next to me. I just freak out at any fucking at anything. I freak, I freak out very easily. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. I don't like flying out. In general. <laughs> At least, I don't know what it is. I got this weird fear of things flying into me. And whatever reason, that this that thought just disturbs me so much. That it actually like messes with me if I'm near a bird. Or a flying insect. Da Also, I need to check something. So I'm pretty sure I have access to two more doors now. But the moment I do a door, I know it's gonna fucking take up like the rest of the stream. Or like, a lot of the stream. Do you guys want me to... I'll ask... I wanna just ask you guys in chat. Do you guys want me to do some doors? Which gives some uh, side quest shit? Or do you guys want me to keep going down the main, main quest line? What are you guys feeling? Hey, Reese, cheer up, okay? I um, can't pretend to know exactly what you're angry about, but I'm sure Kevin really cares about you even if he doesn't always show it. I am um, oh. oh, shit, she said something different. Hold on. But I still think it would be better to try and make up than staying angry. Damn. Damn, she really, she really ignored me. Should have known. Also, Tita, dude, I feel so bad. Tita's like just trying her best because she just wants people to be happy. Even if she doesn't know what's going on. Nobody hanging out here still. Might as well what though? Might as well do side missions? Oh, what the hell? They're having a meeting over here. I certainly wasn't expecting Annalise to have been drawn in here too. We should keep up with our investigation as quickly as we can. If you need anything from me, let me know. I'm always happy to lend a hand. I know. I know you are. 
The guild has facilities in both Calvert and Aragonia, yet it's the Lockle that's been recreated here. There's got to be some kind of meaning to that choice. Could the Lord of Phantasma be intentionally recreating places that, that are connected to our group in some way? You don't care because you're going to play a quick Jackbox game soon? How much of a jerk move would it be to do Chloe's door while, while Pikachu's playing a Jackbox game? <laughs> Lemon State is far from liberal, which makes me curious why it's the lock hole that was... Shut up, Maltozabot! Yo, why would you do <laughs> Okay, dude. Alright, sure, true. That would be despair. <laughs> that would be despair. Pikachu's always doing jackpot? Oh, is that true? Multitasking. Which makes me curious why it's the lock hole that was recreated here and not anywhere else. Could the Lord of Phantasma be intentionally recreating places that are... Connect to our group in some way. It's clear from everything they've said and done so far that Flores have thoroughly researched all of us. Yet recreating a place like up from outside liberal is certainly not something I expected them to do. So who is the Lord of Phantasma anyway? We know now they're challenging us with a significant amount of research on us under their belt. It really makes sense to me. The more they do, the more I can't fathom what it is they want or who they are. I have three options. I'm pretty sure I have an Anale store, a Chloe door, and a Zin door. And potentially two Zim doors. I'm not really sure what the Zim one. No, I think it's safe to say that His Excellency the Chancellor isn't in any way involved in this. There's far too roundabout a plan of attack even for him. Can't be so sure that Ouroboros isn't in right? Well, I can't disagree with that, that this doesn't feel like something he would do. Not least because he want, if he wanted to harm you, he had plenty of chance to do so in Heimdall. Politics! We must find a way out of here as soon as possible. Who knows what's happening in the outside world right here. I'm glad they continue talking as I stand next to them. Very secretive over there. I kind of want to do the Annalise door. If that's... I should check if it is the Annalise door or not. Also, wait, there's something else I need to check. I didn't actually properly check past the boss platform. I feel like there might be treasure over there. Let me check. Before I go to the forest, I want to see if this is... Yep, I knew it! Crimson Eye. I see you enjoy finding empty spaces. Okay. Uh, what is this? ATS plus 300! Wait, don't I already have one of these on someone? Yeah, it's Kevin. I can give him two Crimson Eyes, bro. That's- that's so much ATS. <laughs> okay, sure. You can have that much damage. How about now? Why not? Why not? Why not? Alright, no worries, Pikachu. I'm gonna go check the Anomaly store and see if it's an Anomaly store. It might not even be an Anomaly store. Put a Pika over here? Actually, yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, fuck, I actually understood that. Okay. Dude, she has so many moves. Alright, I'm teleporting. Over to uh, the door that I saw. Star door, right? Star door 5. I feel like it has to be Annalise, right? Like, who else? What, o what other girl is there that have that that's really obsessed with sword play? Bring to me the girl who entrusts her feelings with her blade. Only then shall the door open. Okay, I was right. I was right. I was right. Alright, Adelaide's door. Let's go. Let's go. Worth. This is like pulling your favorite character in a gacha and realizing they have side contest story quests for them. Perfect. I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Is this gonna be her day? Oh my god, it's Bose. I haven't even been here in this game yet. Until now. Annalise is hanging out on her own. Remember. The fuck? Hmm. Interesting. Dude, that was the meme. Bro, I Carly. <laughs> I guess she's sipping some some soda right now. Wow, that's a surprise. 
Annalise! Oh, Lugrin! Is something the matter? It's not, it's not, <laughs> it's interesting. It's not like you to walk right up the second floor without even looking at the board and sit quietly like this. You're not feeling sick from eating too much ice cream or something, are you? God damn it. She's always eating ice cream every time I look at the menu. Don't be silly, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Could have fooled me! I swear that you were the one that ate three full scoops first thing one morning and later had to go get some stomach medicine from Spence. Give me my memories playing tricks on me. <laughs> Let's just pretend that never happened, okay? Besides, that was back when I was a junior bracer. That was forever ago. I learned my lesson after that, I swear. Now I never have more than one scoop each morning. You're not supposed to have ice cream in the morning at all, you know. Well, no bad. So, what have you been doing up here all this time, anyway? Oh, right. Well, you see, I got a letter from my poppy who lives okay. a long way a long way away this morning. Really, now? He's a horse swordsman, if I recall, isn't he? So we're gonna learn about her dad? Yep, he's an instructor. He's real famous among sword practitioners. Uh, Yun Ka Fai of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Ah, yeah, that's the one. I was familiar with the name even before meeting you, but I was quite surprised to find out you were his granddaughter. Didn't he used to live here in Liberal? I'm surprised you know about that. I can't say I have any memories of when he was here, though. I was- it was around when I was born, so how could I? That long ago, I see. This motherfucker thinks he's the ice cream police? True. So, how's he doing? Well, judging by his letter, yeah, he's doing fine. I haven't had the chance to meet him in person for about a year now. Last time we had the chance to spar, I felt like he was totally babying me, even though he's like 70. He might really must be skilled to be treating an active racer that way. Hmm. Huh? What's the, what the serious, sudden serious face? Oh, it's nothing all that major, but I've been wondering something for a while. Why do you stay here when you could join him? Uh, sorry, I'm lost. Well, I thought you are just aiming to improve your swordsmanship, aren't you? It feels like if you have a grandfather like that, the fastest way to do that would be to go with, go with him and polish your skills at his side. That's, well... I suppose it's not my place to be telling you what may or may not be best for you. Sorry, Annalise, you didn't pay attention to any... Any attention to an old man like me? No, that's not true at all. I really appreciate your advice, so please don't think it's not your place to give it. I can definitely see where you're coming from on this. I do have my reasons for being here and all, but they're just a little difficult to explain. Oh? I do want to learn more about swordsmanship and swords in general. So that, in that sense, you're right that continuing to train under Poppy will be both the best and fastest course of action. That's not all I want to do with my life. I want at least as much, if not more, to know more about what it means to be a bracer. I guess in the case of wanting to learn more about swordsmanship as a bracer rather than a so as a swordsman, if that makes sense. Am I even doing a good job of explaining this? No, no, I think I see where you're coming from now, actually. Besides, Poppy once told me that the world was going to roll me. And I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. He taught me all of the technical side of the swordsmanship, forms, crafts, and all that kind of stuff already. Whether I can master them or not is all down to me now. So in that case... I mean, in that sense, I feel like I feel like there's no specific need for me to train under him nowadays. Of course, whether I'm really advancing in my swordsmanship now is another issue entirely. I wish I could say for sure I was, but... Hmm, I see. Um, what's with the silent treatment all of a sudden? Oh, it's nothing. You're just not really one for these kinds of serious discussions, so I was impressed to see you were capable of them. Hey, I am so capable. Besides, you were the one who kind of pushed me to talking about all this stuff first. I'm glad I did too. Anyway, back getting back to the point, what did the letter even say, anyway? Oh, right. Well, as surprising as it is, it says that I should go and see Cassius Bright. Cassius? The one and only? Yep, that's right. Supposedly Poppy was invited to it by the Royal Army to be a guest instructor at some point a long time ago. That's when he trained Cassius, too. Damn, he trained Cassius? Yo, what the fuck? So ever since, they've had this kind of student-master relationship with one another. Cash even went out of his way to go and see him ten years ago when he decided to stop using his sword, too. Estelle's dad, yeah. Ten years ago? That would put that around... That put that around when he left the army and became a bracer, though. What exactly prompted him to tell you to go visit Cash's now, though? Well, I guess he only recently found out that, the ca that Cash had returned to the army. So now he's wondering whether he might take this opportunity to take up the sword again. Hmm... I gotcha, he wants you to go and ask for him. I don't know what he says, yeah. I see. Oh, Cash uses his sword, now he's the stick. People really do end up connected in the strangest places in the funniest ways. Tell me about it. Anyway, that being said, I kind of have a favor to ask. 
You want time off, I assume? Well, who am I to say no? You got a good cause to have it. You can even get in touch with the army and set up a meeting with Cassius if you want. Really? Really, go along and get that truth your grandfather wants for you. But in return, in return, I want you to take care of every single one of the monster extermination quests on the board first. Every single one? Aren't there like five of them right now? Sure, but the monster in this area will be no trouble at all for you as you are now. Probably less of a problem if Grand were around, but I had but I had to lend him to the guild over in ruin, so and he's still not back. We're going to have to pick up the slack here in his place, especially if you want time off. <sighs> oh okay, wait. I'm just gonna do it. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. There we go. Three days later. Leiston Fortress. We are finally here. But on time too. Okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> Let's go bug caches. Why did I say that's a word? <laughs> hmm. Can I help you? Um, well, I'm Analyze Elfie, a, a bracer with the guild. I'm, I'm, I've come to meet with Brigadier General Bright. Ah, I see, I believe we've been expecting you. I'll pass on that you've arrived, then. You might have to wait a little while before you can come meet with the General, though, I'm afraid. Huh? Dude, every, everything is just Hina, Hina, Hina voice lines, man! Huh? But I'm right on time. Did something throw his schedule off? Something must have. I can't pretend to know it much more than you do. But the general is a very busy man, so it's not at all, at all unusual for things like this to happen. Anyway, like I said, I'll pass out that you've arrived, but I'm going to have to ask you to wait out here for a while. Sure, no problem. This is taking ages. I hope the meeting isn't going to end up getting cancelled or something. Uh, I really don't want to come all this way for nothing. I suppose if I can't meet with Cassius, I could at least go shopping in Gransel. You should probably get me, uh, be getting the new lineup of stuffed toys around now. I wonder which one I should get. Maybe the bear or a crocodile once in a while would be nice. Excuse me, young lady. The general can meet with you now. Really? That's yeah, not the general. Good day, sir. Thank you. <laughs> what? Are you supposed to say thank you to good day? I guess so. I guess, I guess so if you don't give a shit about the other guy's day. <laughs> and you must be Annalise, I assume. Yes, I am. Welcome to Lyston Fortress. The general is waiting. Please follow me. Oh, thank goodness. I seriously thought I was going to have to go home without getting to see him. I'm terribly sorry for the wait. Well, please follow me. They didn't even give her a chair. She just, she just st stood there menacingly at the drawbridge. You got it, sir. I've brought your visitors, sir. Very good. You may return to your duties. Thank you, sir. La 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 patrol and la la. I'm really sorry about the delay there, Annalise. Oh, don't be. I'm more thankful that you took the time out of your busy schedule to speak with me at all. <laughs> There's the least I could do for someone from my old line of work. It's been a while since we've last met, though, hasn't it? You've become a seasoned veteran before I knew it. I certainly like to think I have. I can't have Estelle store ahead of me while she's abroad, can I? This is this what rivals do? <laughs> so they do. I'll be looking forward to seeing just how much stronger the two of you can become. You won't be disappointed. Getting to the point, I was pleased to hear that Old Master Kafai is still in good health. I believe it was because of him that you became that you came here today. Yes, that's right. I didn't realize you were an acquaintance of him uh, of his before this. I certainly am. In short, he's the man who taught me the way of the sword. That was over 20 years ago by this point. The first time we met was when I was back at the military academy, so I studied under him. I still remember the harsh training lessons that he gave us here in Lyson like they were yesterday. Really? Is there any special reason you didn't stay, say you knew him before? You knew I was his granddaughter, didn't you? I did. By the time I first met you, I had long given up the path of the sword. It didn't feel appropriate in my eyes to act as if I was his student in the light of that. Oh, gotcha. 
I haven't seen him in about 10 years, I think. He does write to me on occasion, but how is he these days? Does he still have that same, same old vim and vigor? Yep, he really doesn't act his age at all. Still, if, you, uh, if you'll let me get right to the point, the reason I came here is to continue the discussion he had with you 10 years ago. Oh? To tell you the truth, Poppy still laments the fact that you left the path of the sword. That was why he wrote to me and he heard you when you, when you heard you returned to the army. He wondered whether you were returning to military, maybe you were also ready to pick up a sword again. So this is it. He'd like to know directly from you how you feel. Hmm, I see. Well, it's a great honor that after so many years he still cares so much about an experienced and utterly lacking swordsman like me. And yet I'm afraid my answer is that I still have no intention of taking up a blade again. Can I ask you why? You certainly can, but I'm not sure how to put my answer. It's always been on my mind too. I've always wondered why you would prompt someone what would prompt someone so skilled with a sword that they even gained the title Divine Blade to leave it all behind? I don't mean to make light of your skill with your staff or say it's inferior, nothing like that. It's just hard to wrap my head around why you did what you did. There's a little part of me that can't accept that either. Especially now that you've returned to the army. Why can't you return to being a swordsman? Hmm. Unless... Unless you believe that the staff is stronger than the sword after all? No, not at all. I just believe the staff to be a more fitting weapon for me as I am now. Staves are a symbol of protection which are used more for keeping enemies at bay than cleaving through them. You say that as... You say that as if all swords are good or for cutting and killing. That's not true. I fight because I want to protect things just like you do. As a swordsman, as a bracer, and as myself. Are you telling me swordsmanship Poppy taught me isn't going to let me do that? I'm sorry, I didn't ask you for, I didn't ask for you to take time out of your day so I can come and shout at you. But I, I can't accept what you're saying. Up until, all, up until all of what happened here in Liberal, I never found any doubt that swordsmanship was the right path for me. In the end, all of what happened just served to remind me about how powerless I really am. And now I... I feel like no matter how hard I try, I'll always be a rookie. I'll never be strong enough to do what I want to do. Now I see. Hmm, perhaps this is fate. I see Master Kafai hasn't changed one bit. He's the same firecracker he always was. What do you mean? I'm afraid as I am now, I'm not able to answer the questions you're asking me. But I know someone else who can. Who? Who? What's he planning to do out here? I really want to know who he called, too. Ah, there you are. Are you all ready to begin? <laughs> Indeed I am. I never expect to have to wear this uniform again, though. Especially not so soon. I'd almost think you enjoyed messing with people. I'm not doing it to bully you. You know as well as I do, your usual work clothes aren't well suited for this kind of thing. Oh, him. You're Colonel Richard! And also, I did not want to, uh, you know, make a new model for you, so... I realize this may sound a little silly coming from a man wearing this uniform, but I'm no longer a colonel, young lady. Sorry. So, Mr. Richard, then? Or Alan? You can call me whatever you wish, though no need for the mister. Meanwhile, I believe you're Annalise, the senior bracer with the guild. Do you know me? I'm not the former commander of the intelligence division for nothing. I know all about the bracers in this country. I see. But how'd you end up being here? Actually, Richard was, a, was who I was meeting with just before I spoke with you. Really? In short, I've decided to start up a new research company as a civilian. So while I may not be part of the army anymore, I can definitely see myself continuing to need to work with it in the future. So I decided to come here to, in order to discuss the matter with Cassius in the hopes of maintaining a good relationship between us in the future. Oh, I get it now. Wait, is the person you mentioned earlier... That's right. I want the two of you to fight one another. What? God damn it. Wait a second, this is all a bit sudden, isn't it? Especially I'm going to be fighting the famous Colonel Richard. Is that so? You don't want to know the answer to the questions you asked me earlier then? Huh? <laughs> I don't- I believe any doubts you have towards swordsmanship can only be dispelled through using it. Uh, through using it, sorry. Focus not on whether you win or lose, but on pouring all you have into the battle. And you should find the answers you seek. All right, then. I'm not sure I'll make much of an opponent, but I'll do what I can. It's not every day that one has a chance to test your skills against the relative of the Eight Leaves School's founder. I'm eager to see what you can do. Begin! 
Right. Okay. Uh, I, um, I gotta not mess this one up. Okay, I'm, so my first goal is to not immediately use up all my CP. I think that's the best first step. Let's see how strong you are. Oh my god, it's playing this song! I love this song! Also, didn't I fight, um... Didn't I, didn't I do, like, battle training here with Estelle and, jo and Joshua and, like, the last game? The same fucking stage. That's a lot of HP! Uh-oh. <laughs> Think you're clever? No, I don't. Die with honor. Bro, I thought this was a duel! You literally bled me out! Ow! <laughs> Bro, what the f- Yo! Chill out! What the fuck? This man's not messing around right now, okay. Oh my god, hearing that angry Mona right after- and then in hearing her go, yeah, right after the same scream, that shit got me. That did like no damage, dude. Bro, how do I do more damage to you? You're not even weak to anything. Okay. No, nope, it's not gonna delay him twice, apparently. I don't want to use this yet. Ugh. Do I really want to reduce my defense by 30% against this guy? I feel like that's a mistake. Let's do it. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Ow. That really hurt. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that! I really shouldn't have done that! Oh boy. Here I go! Here I go. You're done! That barely did more damage. No! Don't divide me! Oh. Ow! That hurt! Oh, oh god! <laughs> okay. Alright, it's fine. Cause I got this! That does not help much. Cause I got this! There we go. I'm slowly doing damage. Ow! This really bites. Ow, that really fucking hurts. Stop. I don't like it. I don't have my buff anymore. I don't know if I should anymore, to be honest. I feel like it might be a mistake to have that buff on. But at the same time... What?! Oh my god. Bullshit, by the way. Actually bullshit. I don't- I don't accept that. Hi, Karumba. Yeah, I got- I dodged the floor with Josette earlier, too, during the boss fight. I hit by like a huge tornado of, wi tornado of like three attacks, went flying into the air, dropped, and it was like miss. I was like, what? How? <laughs> How did this happen? Is this good? I feel like it's not good. I don't think I, I think that's like an AoE move, right? Here I go! Here I go! You're done! Okay, so apparently uh, that strength boost was actually really important. But also, if he hit me with this luminous wheel while I had minus 30% defense, it might have been really bad. So... Am I doing this bullshit? Yeah, true. Fuck it. That thing actually made a huge difference. I'm gonna risk it! Don't use your ultimate! Do not use your ultimate! Stop! Don't do it! Do not! Okay. 
Oh, you imagine Joe's and Super Mario jumping on their head? That actually kind of makes sense, yeah, sure. I'll accept that. Oh, I'm not pedal dancing that. I can't even AT delay him! He's just gonna beat my ass, man! Oh boy. Should I heal or should I attack? I'm gonna attack. Full risk! No. Stop. What I, I just said stop. Come on. Come on. Yes. I don't got that many more heals left. I do not got that many more heals left. I'm gonna be honest. Wait a minute, that does... Bro, I should just be regular hitting him! Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad that that did... <laughs> how... Bro, how does that make sense? That shit, like, he hits her like eight times and only does 300 more damage? Alright, whatever, man. Whatever, dude. I should have done that. I think, I, I think this might have been a bad time to do this. I feel like he's about to do his ultimate. Or not? I'm gonna risk it. I'm not gonna die. Surely not. Ha! Don't. Don't double hit me. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. Call that damage? Check this out. Check this out. Super slap! <laughs> no! No! Stop! Not like this! I'm still in it. Bro, I'm still in it. That's it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Bro, I'm gonna do it. Y'all think it's gonna work? Or is this a huge mistake and I'm gonna kill myself? I'm going in. Let's go. Yes! I beat him! Unbelievable. Oh, so I'm so good at video games, guy. Wow, I was level 90 back then. I am 108 now because I beat his ass. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, that was too easy. Hmm. Good job. Pant. Pant. Holy crap. I did it. I feel the same way. Well, it looks like my skills still have a lot of room for improvement. Alright, the victor is decided. Sheath your blades. So, Adelaide, how did this swordsmanship appear to you? Well, he fights using the Eight Leaf School's fifth uh, form, Morning Moon. He's made a few changes to the standard form, but it's largely a style based around sword drawing techniques. Well, okay, I noticed a bit more than just technical details like that. Hmm, what did you notice? One thing I realized while fighting him, Richard swings his sword as if he perfectly synchronized to my breathing. The second I go on the offensive, he reacts without fail. In that sense, I feel like his swordsmanship is much more defensive than offensive, I suppose. So he uses counters? Yo, my man! My man who focuses on countering? Alright. That defensive sounds matches perfectly with the form he uses in combat, and the result is very natural. Very powerful swordsmanship. Oh, -ho. Hmm. What I can't work out is why you're so focused on fighting defensively to begin with. I mean, I assume it's because you want to protect something, but what? Annalise? Yes? I will the sword, but for one single reason. The reason is to protect this country. 
Oh, everyone has at least something that they wish to protect in this world. Perhaps that is a person such as their family or loved ones. Perhaps that is a belief or ideology that they hold dear. And just as, uh, it's just as the uh, things we seek to protect are different, so too are the ways we chose to do it. In my case, I, the way I chose to protect what I care about is having a perfectly suit the defensive swordsmanship. Perfectly suit the defensive swordsmanship, you noticed. Although, I can only imagine how comical it must sound to hear a criminal who threatened his nation talk about wanting to protect it. No, not really. Richard, you... Please don't say anything, General. Her Majesty may have chosen to pardon me for what I did, but that simply does not make those crimes disappear. Still, just as your desire to protect the Liberal remained even after leaving the army, I can't completely turn my back on mine. It was so that I could... I... It was... It was that... It was so that I could do so that... Uh, I was so that I could... Do so that I... Oh! My God! I hate this sentence! It was so that I could do so that I resolved to leave the army even. There we go. It was? You see, Annalise, to me, one's position in life is just a means to an end. A way in which to achieve whatever you wish to do. I think that's true for one's choice of weapon as well, wouldn't you agree? Well, what's important isn't what weapon you chose, you choose, but it's what you, cho what you use it to do. What inspires you to take it up and use it in a fight. The reason I chose to put my sword aside and to take up a staff is that those feelings had changed, that is all. So, Annalise, any more thoughts? I should use my sword in the way that best fits me to do what I want. That's what you're trying to say, right? Sure is, you beat me to it! You're Master Kafai's granddaughter, all right. Very quick to catch on to things. I'm just as quick at forgetting things too, though. But I finally get what you're coming from. Really? Well, I'm happy to hear that. But I ask you to pass my answer on to Master Kafai, then? Consider it done! I'm sure he'll understand. Hmm, then again, would you be opposed, Richard? Not at all. I've already inherited the way of the sword itself from you. It's only right that someone else should inherit that. What are you talking about? Well, that's settled. Would you accept this, Annalise? What? Oh! Wait, what? Well, that means I should have it right now. Where to go? <laughs> Am I just gonna suddenly remember I had it in my pocket? Is that what this memory is? What's this? It's a blade I once used myself. I think it would be much happier in the hands of an active practitioner of swordsmanship than in my own at this point. Wait a second, I couldn't possibly accept this. This surely if anyone should be taking this off you, it should be Richard. Perhaps on the surface, but that- Did I only get that because I beat his ass? Please tell me I got that because I beat his ass. Please. I want to know if I got anything for beating his ass. Was I feel like beating his ass was optional. Yes? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank- Oh, I feel so cool! Oh, I feel so cool! Oh, man, that means I could've gotten something if I beat the other asshole, but I messed up. But it doesn't matter, because it would've just been a reward for Loser Face. Wait a minute, but Loser Face also uses the same weapon as Cooler Face, which is Chloe. Ah, shit! Anyways. Oh, I- Oh, man, that's so- That's literally what I want to do in my game that I'm never gonna finish, because I fucking suck. Where I have bosses that are like, you don't have to beat them, but if you do, you get some cool-ass weapon. Oh, I'm so happy. Perhaps on the surface, perhaps on the surface, but how things are on the surface is not what is always most important. I thought you had just thrown that fact. I'm not sure the lessons I learned earlier have anything to do with this. There's only to think so seriously about this, Adelaide. All you need to do is take up this blade and use it to do what you want to do, in the way you choose not you choose to do it. Well, that's all anyone accepts of you. I mean <laughs> expects of you. <laughs> to do what I want to do in the way I chose to do it. I keep saying chose instead of choose. Well, if you insist, I'd be happy to accept it. I feel I've learned like I've I feel I've learned a lot today from having the opportunity to face off against you. I do hope I'll have the chance again one day. Sing the stream to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> so do I. You'll both have to make sure you don't neglect your training then. Of course. I wouldn't dream of giving it any less than a hundred percent. Bro, is that still gonna be really good? It better be super damn good, bro. I'm ready to main Annalise in this game. Really? It sounded like that was quite the fruitful experience. Why did I use that voice for him? Oh, I am all messed up right now. It sure was. I'm guessing this was Pop Poppy's plan all along. He knew exactly what happened if I went to ask Cash what I did, and that's why he asked. It must I must have sounded a little unsure of myself in the last letter I wrote, letter I wrote him. I see. Like master, like pupil. 
Incidentally, while I hate to spring this on you before you've had a chance to settle back in, a lot of work built up while you were away. There's even a request from the mayor too, so I really need you to get right on it all. Ah. If anything, you should be grateful. All this work will give you a chance to refine your skills with that new mindset of yours, won't it? That's one way of looking at it, sure. So, Poppy, while I bet you knew all, knew all along, it looks like Cassius has no intention of taking up this way of the sword ever again. But thanks to seeing him, I ended up being given a chance to re-examine my own swordsmanship. Up until now, I thought it was all about getting stronger, or faster, things like that. But now, I finally realize that's what, that what's far more important than any of those things is why you take up your sword in the first place. Your feelings. I feel like now I finally understand why I was never able to defeat you, no matter how many times you fought. I might not be the best student in the world, but I'll keep giving my training all I've got. Love, Annalise. Dude, I want to see the sword stats. I want to see the sword stats. Side story, swordsmanship finished? Mmm. I'm happy about that. Oh, man. So if I didn't beat him, I would have just gotten 5,000 bucks and nothing else? That would have sucked. I guess I could replay the other mission and try to beat him for whatever the reward is, but I don't know if it's, I care. Oh, my God! Holy shit! That's an 800 damage! That's a thousand damage! A thousand strength! And every stat increased by a shit ton? Bruh, I'm so happy. Dude, that's so good. Holy God, shit. Analyze only. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I feel so good about that. The faster they die, the sooner you get ice cream. Yo, Annalise! Annalise, you ready to carry us? You sure fucking are, I'm sure. Damn, you are so cute, Annalise. I am feeling kind of like a shrimp right now. Anyways. Back right after Annalise. And she got something good? Yeah, I beat Cat. Because I beat that hard boss fight, I actually got a really ridiculously good sword for her. It's only because I beat the boss, so I feel really good about it. I feel really good. It's really funny though because you said you're just back, but I'm actually about to take a break because I realize I haven't taken taken one today, which I think is uh, bad. I was I was wondering why I was feeling extra tired. And I realized I did not even get up. There. So I think I'm gonna take a break. This is a good place to take a break, I think. And then we're gonna continue, I guess. Do we're gonna go do Chloe's side story, I think. I kind of want to do that. You guys want to do Chloe's side story? Y'all feeling that? Oh, you did see me win. Oh yeah, you did say good job. I remember seeing that. So either we can do Chloe's side story, Zin's bullshit, I assume Zin, or uh, or continue the story and just kill things with Annalise. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Let me. Uh, I'll think about it on the break. But I think it's very likely we'll do the Chloe side story. I do want to do every side story, obviously. That's the most important thing to me, seeing the story. So. Yeah. Okay. That being said, I'm gonna be right back. You guys can enjoy these clips for a little bit. Hopefully you get some good ones. Let me know. And uh, let's go. Let's fucking go. Be right back, everybody. Whoop. Guys, that was the angle, 100%. Lira! <laughs> Son of a bitch! He got you. Oh, did I just die off the... I didn't mean to immediately take a shit ton of fall damage. Guys, that wasn't on purpose. Time for lag. Can I just say that was worse than every other fucking time? That was the worst lag I've ever seen in my entire life. No, fuck. Let's see, multi, multi, oh no. Oh shit. Don't 
Oh, I don't go past that. I don't go past that. <laughs> They're master archers. I actually, the fact that I'm even there in the first place is apparently a surprise because I got in there by accident from the safe zone. Okay. That is definitely a whole... Like, the problem is, if I ride this thing, it doesn't let me grab the ledge after. Like, look, it doesn't let me fucking grab it. Like, it's so annoying. Like, why wouldn't Link... I swear to God, it never let me do that before. Shut up, guys. Don't... No one... Shut the fuck up. Type exclamation mark guard ticket in chat and you'll get it. I love penis. Give me a mat choke. I mean a match. I mean a, not a match choke. A match chop. I don't want to fight a match choke. <laughs> it's a different type too. Okay. Oh god, it's fucking match choke. Wait! I heard that. I heard. I heard that. Oh. Um. Who matters? What did you give us? I saw it this time. She looks thick? Good. We all know that's the truth. Oh no, I took off her clothes! <laughs> Happens sometimes when I'm drawing. Too lewd. I'm gonna get fucking banned for that shit. God damn. Oh! Damn, miscalculated. Can I hammer? I see you. No. I gotta push off the cliff. Ah, wait, that actually hurt me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. You piece <laughs> of shit! Bumper cars! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, all right. Where are we supposed right. to go? I'm blaming the mo- Unplug my internet? No, it's not my internet. Rest in peace, Q. Guess you could say Q Q. <laughs> I finally did it. The I <laughs> that timing of the credits, the crickets. Switching there has disappeared. I guess lightning can strike at uh, thrice. Hey, we were talking business. Which bear is responsible for this? Listen. Going by recent events, this is an opportunity. Static again. Fucking hell. There, I said it. Hold on. The house is just this. This fucking plug. Uni refused to leave my side. Hi. Right. Why is that so loud? Markiplier, 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 Markiplier. Oh, come on! That was such a parry. Okay. Okay, that was bad. Line bridge caution cross very quickly. How how much quicker did you even go? I was holding the damn stick down. Kilika, do you think it would be safe for us to go to Gransel, given the current climate? Just get a stronger chair. That's the plan. I'm nervous, but. I know what needs to be done.
<laughs> Wait, Alpha was Alpha was supposed to be in that cutscene. I just realized he was behind the butterfly wing. It's time for you to pick Chevy up your devices phase. and vote. A girl? Huh? What? 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 Huh? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sure. Okay, okay. No. Rude, first of all. Calculated. I meant to do that. Put it put it in the clips. Clip that. Clip that. Clip it and ship it. <laughs> just don't. I, just, I just gotta be honest. What? No, Growlithe. What should we do, Malt Guy? This is an emergency, right? I like spikes, but not that kind of weird uniform ass fucking shit going on. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't like that angle. Machine gun and a hunting rifle. Henry I was has a, a sniper. Oh, there's a chest in there. There's like two chests in there. You can probably make a detour. Wait, is that. I should show it to you before you have to go to bed or whatever. There we go. Oh, you did see it on the Discord? Oh, okay, gotcha. I wasn't sure. I don't know how often you actually like look at the Discord and stuff still, because I know you've been super busy. Yeah, if you accidentally like, you know, end up in Canada randomly, just just drop drop some hula hoops over. I would appreciate it. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. <laughs> like pepperoni. Nipples. Oh, I wonder if I can push people off this bridge. You probably can. Oh wait! What? Wait! <laughs> I was following you guys. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I thought you guys knew where you were going. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Good shit. The only potential issue is if they take one of my backups. Wait! Oh my god! Oh my! Don't tell me you're gonna die. What is happening? What is that? Can you roll? Oh my god. <laughs> Who killed you? These two elite wisps. P. <laughs> PSR. You guys are so used to Pokemon. The Pokecord. I get that so much in the chat now. I don't even know if it's a troll anymore at this point. Oh, that looked really close. 18 plus songs? Like, you mean like swearing and stuff? I guess it's fine if it's a song. As long as the meaning isn't messed up. How do you get more slots? I gotta pay for, I gotta donate to BTTV or like pay monthly. I don't, which I'm not gonna do. Uh, my love life is like Donald Trump. Should be impeached. <laughs> Got it. What the? That was some perfect timing, Ben. What the? For myself. <gasps> now where am I gonna chill, dude? Like I'll, I can't chill anywhere like this. Uh, fucking the boomers. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm Mies. Who the fuck is you? Dude, Mies is not gonna be a thing, okay? I swear. How sweet and treating you. I love it, but I never seen it. I didn't even mean to do that! <laughs> I mean, calculated!
<laughs> Calculate it, baby. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh my dude. I don't know, man. From killing dragons and shit. Bro, I don't I don't I don't I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I just don't know. Are you kidding me? I thought I touched that. Well, don't do it. Don't do what? It lagged. It lagged. That was weird. Oh, so only for us or Bugsy. Everyone else did see that epic ass fucking skill, right? Man, you should have been there. Or you know, you just clip it. <laughs> just hit it again? Yo, easy. I, of course I will. I'm actually really enjoying playing Law for whatever the fuck reason. Wow. Everything got deleted. Dude, I'm all about man spreading, man. I see a man, I spread him. Okay. We're back, let's go. <clears throat> mm, Alright. Were there a lot of boring clips? I don't know if I need to like... Fucking, uh... Nice clip to end on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, look, okay? Welcome back, thank you, I appreciate it, Wolfie. Um... I was gonna say, do I need to reduce the... Do you guys think you're getting a lot, a lot of shit clips? That are just like useless, pointless clips. I can reduce the I can reduce the limit again, the time limit again on the clips in case it might filter it out better. They're good, okay. Because I was like, with the, the things I glanced on before I started up again looked like there was a lot of shit where nothing was happening for like 30 seconds. But okay, if you guys say so, maybe it's just me being a harsh judge of myself. All right, Chloe has a moon door. I think. Watch this not be Chloe. Watch this not even be Chloe. Watch it just be uh, fucking not Chloe. Wait, I didn't even bring Chloe with me. I'm, I'm a genius. I am quite the genius. <sighs> I wish. I wish I could just stay up super late. Man, I don't know. I don't know what I want anymore. You know what I want? I want more shifts at work so I don't feel like I'm doing jack shit with my time. <laughs> I definitely prefer being a, just staying up all night, but I don't know how good it is for my stream to do that. But I guess I end up having an audience that comes in from the other side of the world at that rate. So, you know, I guess that works. Tough it on manual review. Yeah, I mean, the best I could do is just remove. I don't know if they're gonna if they're planning to add more filters of some kind, like somehow being able to detect if a title is too long to assume that it's a shit clip. But I don't know, that'd be cool though. Uh Josette! Take a break. Got it! That, that's, that didn't mean to put you back in, guys. That was the equivalent of closing a tab of Reddit and opening a new tab with Reddit. Together now! Alright. Alright. Let's try that again. I did not mean to press that either. This way! Alright. Moon door three. Here we go! Bring to me the darling of pure white... Meh, I'm hiccuping now. Pure white radiance. And proof of her scholarship. Only then shall the door open. Open the door? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I guess we were right. We were right! It's a Chloe door! In before fucking Joshua walks in? I'll be mad. You ain't no maiden, though. Shut the hell up, Joshua. You better walk the hell out again. <laughs> Jesus. 
She's like, oh, that's my exam results. Yay. Oh, yeah, it's a Chloe chapter, y'all. It's going to be a long Chloe story. I shall grant you a memory fragment of my blessing. How come no one fights me in this room anymore? How come only Tita had to fight people in this room? Dude, you know how you know how much she would mess people up if I had to fight someone with Chloe? Spring came, but it took far more time doing so than the average year. Oh, is this going to be a Royal Academy? Wait, I forgot. I forgot this place was called Genus Royal Academy. I've been making this genus joke for so long that I forgot. I don't even know if I took it from this. But I guess this is where every genus is born, including me. At Genus Royal Academy. Alright, let's do this. One by one, the magnolia flowers began to show their faces to the world as if reluctant to let their long slumber end. And with the changing of the seasons, a brand new student of the infamous Genus Royal Academy, Maltosier himself, set foot onto its ground slightly later than her peers. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh wow, she's in her old outfit. Well, here I am. Deep breath. Okay, I can do this. Who? Is that again? I can't remember. Or do I never know? Did I never meet this guy? Mysterious boy. Oh! Why is he so well drawn? He's the most attractive man I've seen in this game. Actually, not, okay, not a man. Attractive. No, I'm not gonna correct that. <laughs> never mind. Uh. So, that's our famous transfer student, huh? A hawk. Nah, seems more like a falcon. We know I think- I don't think we've met him. Or at least not with a picture. I sworn to myself that I would stop relying on other people. I've had enough of being restrict- I've had enough of being restricted in how I live- How to live. I've had enough following the rails in the sky laid out for me and by other people. I was going to put my own feet- two feet on the ground and start living on my own life by myself. That was my resolve and I intended to abide by it. But someone in my heart, I mean, somewhere in my heart, I had already realized that resolve of mine was nothing more than an excuse. Social studies classroom, first year joint class. Wow, I feel like I'm playing Ace Attorney. Fucking Wyola, I hate this. I hate your name. Well, I hate your name. Settle down, settle down. I've got someone to introduce to you all. Oh my god, this is the first day Chloe joins the damn school? Holy shit, we get we have some crazy story here. This is our new transfer student, Chloe Renz. She's going to be studying uh, social studies, apparently. So you'll be with me then. Well, why don't you try introduce yourself to the class? Of course. My name is Chloe Renz, and starting today, I will be a first year student at this academy. I've been looking forward to beginning my w uh, life at this wonderful academy for some time, so I'm truly delighted to be here. It's an honor to be able to count myself among your number. I'm still an inexperienced child in many ways, so I fear I might, I may still be, I may cause you all of you trouble in the coming days and weeks. But I intend to work as hard as I can for the betterment of myself, my class, and my school. So I hope we can, I hope we can get along. Be spectacled, girl. Oh wait, I know who that is. Oh, maybe I do know the other person then? They're just not even named yet, so whatever. I sure wasn't expecting a transfer student at this time of year. I wonder if she's from a rich family or something. She sure sounds stuffy, so it fit. She's obviously got some kind of special circumstances to be enrolling in May. Excuse me, but could I ask a question? Where do you live? You're from Liberal, right? Um, yes, I'm from Branson. Do you have any hobbies? Not especially. What, for reals? It's kind of boring. Um, still, no matter how much you think about it, nothing comes to mind. It's more like I'd say making sweets. I don't feel like that do enough. I do that enough to qualify as a hobby. Dude, that's how I feel about everything I do. I, I feel like it's weird calling myself an artist because I like draw once a year. I feel like it's weird to call myself a Let's Player because I haven't done that shit in months. <laughs> it's weird to call myself a game dev because I don't fucking do that shit. Or programmer, because I haven't touched fucking code in, like, years. 
Sheesh, man. Isn't the entrance exam for transfer students? Or like, I made music once. Doesn't make me a music maker. Composer. Isn't the entrance exam for transfer students supposed to be crazy hard? You must be really smart to be able to pass it. Harder than the rest of us took? No way, that was nuts as it is. You must be quite smart. It's only logical, because my name is Logic. <laughs> um, okay class, that's enough. I'm sure you must all have things you want to ask our new student, but they can wait until after class. Go and take a seat, Chloe. Oh, yes, ma'am. All right then, time to get started with our lesson. If you would, please open your textbooks to page 23. 394. Hmm, a mysterious transfer student. And there's a surefire recipe for catching my interest. Did her picture get updated or did she always look that good? Be spectacled girl, which I forgot the real name of. Two weeks passed at the, at the academy. Despite the passing of time, the student's interest and in the transfer student showed no sign of letting up, and she was soon the talk of the whole school. All I ever wanted to talk about was her, how smart she was, how unusually polite she was, among other things. Her peers thought her formalities were largely due to the nerves, and that she would naturally ease up over time, but the reality was somewhat different. Was it Jill? I don't remember. And two. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Phew, glad I attended class today. We ended up covering so much. Come on, Monica, it's time for practice. Coming! Just Monica. Oh dear, did everyone go home already? I haven't handed out all these printouts yet. Oh, it's Miss Wyola. She looks like she needs help with something. Maybe I could maybe I could volunteer? No time like the present. Um, Miss Wyola, is there anything I can help you with? You seem rather troubled about something. Well, there is, but I feel like it's a bit, a a bit bad to ask you to help me with it. Hmm, well, if you insist, of course. Miss Wyola had a pile of printouts to Chloe. Could you go and hand these out to all the social students' kids? I don't know how, where I got kids from, but sure. Did I say social students' students' kids? What the fuck did I just say? I don't care. One each. They're rather important too, so try and see everything, see that everyone gets one. I'll get to work right away. Thank you so much. Okay, gotta run, gotta jet. There's a staff meeting starting soon. Let's see. Oh, this is a list of all this year's credits. No wonder she wanted these handed out right away. Might as well start with the students still here. After that, I can go and speak with the ones who have gone to their respective clubs as well. As well as those who have returned to their dormitories. Wait, I'm actually got to walk. I hit social student kids. All right, great. To work I go. Am I going to actually do this, or is it going to just happen? I'm going to actually do this. Okay. I forget. Did I have to actually do things with Tita as well? Or was it all just like... I thought it was all on rails. But all right. <coughs> really? I had no idea. Well, the Republic is pretty huge in terms of landmass and all. Just tra traveling on foot isn't going to cut it. You'll need a more effective means of transportation. Excuse me. Oh, Chloe, hello. Can we help you with something? Well, you see, Miss Wyola has entrusted me with the task of giving printouts to all the social stu studies. St so social study students. Why is that so hard for me to say? Chloe gave Roy and Thelma a copy of the printout each. Hey, it's a list of all our credits. <laughs> I don't remember what Tia. Hutsida! <laughs> Are <laughs> you going out of your way to deliver these, Chloe? Not at all. I apologize for intruding on your conversation, too. I'll just do these fuck. I'll get out of your way now. Have a good day. Oh, right. La 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 Crazy how polite she is, huh? Yeah, I guess. She's a bit too polite, though, if you ask me. It makes her feel comfortable talking to her. Uh oh, are we gonna hear everybody talking shit about Chloe? This is gonna trigger me. I feel like I need to update that Tita art to the new Tita art. What do you guys think? Because that's their second chapter Tita art. Excuse me? You aren't a so our social studies student, aren't you? Sorry, but no, I'm a natural sciences student, actually. Oh. Oops. I see. Sorry for troubling you then. 
Quiet in the hall, student council. It's almost time for a club to decide on a new captain. Personally, I'm backing Felicity, naturally. But she doesn't seem to have any interest in the position, unfortunately. I'm not gonna let that stop me, though. I'm sure I can think of something to change her mind. Felicity doesn't seem to have any interest in becoming our club's new captain. I'm not going to let that stop me, though. I'm sure I can think of something to change her mind. You're Chloe, right? I heard all th kinds of rumors about how smart you are. My name is Felicity Baron. Baron? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. No, this is Patrick. In my experience, Neil's observations are always worth keeping a close eye on. I can't believe he was able to work out the properties of his material from so little data. But that's just what he does. He doesn't rely on guesswork either. His evidence for his beliefs is sound too. I really do look up to him. Neil's observations are always worth paying attention to. He really never stops amazing me. I get it. <laughs> oh, Chloe! Wow, why is your name Fauna? We had you as a room code yesterday without the A. How are you doing? Have you settled in here yet? Well, I'd like to think so, yes. By the way, thank you very much for help, your help during the enrollment process. Thanks to you, I was able to begin my new life here without any problems at all. I'm just glad to have been of assistance. If there's anything else you need help with, you'll need to ask. I'll do what I can. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you very much. Looks more like a pinhead. I actually saw the current uh, student council president here not long ago, too. He was so mature for someone his age. For someone like me. The meeting is going on in the faculty lounge. I should probably keep away to avoid disturbing them. Hello! It's the great Houdini! Sorry. I wish I remember more of the jokes from the community to make these jokes, but whatever. Oh, hello there, Chloe. Are you finally starting to get used to life here? Sir, um, I want to thank you again for permitting me to transfer here on such short notice. I really... Chloe, you really undertook our official transfer student exam and you passed it. Food like Dumbledore? That's what I keep thinking, honestly. Honestly, like, every time I see this guy... Go, you should put your real name with the Goblet of Fire! He said calmly. Uh, you needn't feel, feel as at all indebted to me or feel as though you've been granted special permission. Uh, I say so. If you say so, sir, thank you. I don't believe you've been given a, a full tour of the academy fa faculty, I mean facilities yet, I come to think of it. I think you need explaining to. Be sure to ask student council. I'm sure they'll be only too happy to help. Thank you, sir. I'll bear that in mind. La 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 la. La 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 la. Humanities classroom. If it's so humanities, how come there's no humans here? <laughs> Uh, yay! Walking around the whole campus again. Let's go. Oh, yeah, true. Y'all remember this? I remember this. We gotta always make a tour. Oh. Is that you, Monica? Finally, we've been waiting for you, you know? I mean, you were in there? Sus. I guess I'm an alien. Finally, we're, we're, we've been waiting for you, you know? Um, I, I... Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. What? You didn't do anything wrong. I was the one who made a mistake. Oh, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Like I said, I was the one who made a mistake. Okay, stop right there. Don't mind her, Chloe. She's kind of, a uh, slow on the uptake at times like these. If you need something from us, though, we're going to start practice soon, so we can't hang around and talk long. Oh, I see. Still, I'm relatively sure that Clara is a... social student student. Fuck. I can't say... Social studies student. I keep reading it as student student. What is wrong with me? Oh my god, man. Shit. This doesn't really seem like the best time to be intruding on them. Maybe it would be best for me to excuse myself now and come back later. Bro, just give the damn sheet to Clara. Clara, whatever. Um, oh I know, you can't watch this practice because you're thinking of joining the club, right? Awesome! We'd be stoked to have you as a member. You might want to let her speak before busting out, bursting out, busting out the confetti and streamers. I'm here. What's up? What up, guys? Y'all want y'all want me out here? What's up? <laughs> Seriously, just ignore her, Chloe. If you don't, we'll be here all day. 
we really do need to start soon, though. So, can you make whatever you need quick? Oh, sure, sorry. Well, I was gonna- I stopped myself at the moment I realized what I was about to say. Okay, Wazuka. <laughs> oh, sure, sorry. Um, well, I came in to deliver this, that's all. Aw, this is all you were here for? A credits list? I got my hopes up for nothing. Boo! You stink! I'm sorry about that, but yes, that's all I wanted, so I'll let you go ahead and start practice. Oh, thanks. These points you wish you could do- are you doing- are you clipping any- are you clipping my mispronunciations? She's kind of weird, right? She's this mysterious transfer student everyone is talking about. You wouldn't expect her to be too normal. Oh, that's her, huh? I wish she'd stayed and joined the club. Doesn't she join the club? Because she plays- she doesn't play. Oh, wait, that's not bad, though. Oh, I recognize you. You're the new first year student, Chloe Rins, correct? Yes, I am. I'm... R Rigel? R R Rigel? Like, what? what is his name? That's not even a real name, bro. So go back to the name academy. A third year humanities student. I also serve as the captain of the fencing club. If you're at all interested in what we do, is that where I learned fencing from? That would be really cool. You're welcome to stay and watch us practice. I wish I could, but I'm afraid I'm a little too busy at the moment. Thank you for your offer, though. Hmm. Just the thought of joining reminds me of my training session with Julia. Never mind. She already knows how to fence because of Julia. It makes a lot of sense. More like sensing club, you know what I'm saying? This is why he needs student studies? Look. It's about time for... Actually, has, has anyone been making any clips today? Or do we have a clipless stream? Is this a clipless stream, guys? It's about time for the other members of the club to come in and start practice. So if you're at all interested in fencing, by all means, stay and watch. Oops. Is there anything... There's never anything up here. Yep. Cool! Cool, cool. What are you doing here? You're that new student, right? What do you want? I'm not really in the mood to talk. I'm bored. So just take it easy for now. What do you want? I'm not really in the mood to talk. Okay, Mickey. I used to do the Mickey voice for him, but it actually killed my throat every time. And, I, and I've learned my lesson, so there's not, I can't make that joke anymore. It would literally just kill my throat for the rest of the stream, like instantly. <laughs> Lucy sure is gorgeous, isn't she? She's here as an exchange student from the Principality of Rimiferia to the north. I wonder if all the girls there are as pretty. Where is this Rimiferia? It's been mentioned like twice now. That's also where, um... Wasn't that where, uh... Rufina was supposed to go? I sure wish I was. Oh, I sure wish I was? Lucy sure was gorgeous, huh? I wish I had hair soft and silky looking as hers. Spaghetti! No wine again. No. A spaghet. Okay. Wait, what is this? What's this building always here? Academy Schoolhouse. Wait, this is where I came from. Bro, how am I that confused? Oh my, I really disoriented myself there. Your Audi 5000. Good night all, thanks for the stream. Yo, have a good night, Wazika. Take care. Get some good rest in you. Pant. Pant. Ideos help us. Where is that loser? I honestly would have thought we'd found him by now. Lucy, I'm not sure I can stand much more of this. Stop your whining, you. I bet you're secretly been slacking off with your search the whole time, haven't you? I have not. I just don't get it. We're swimming in eyewitness reports of him, but us running into him? It's not happening. Why? Wait, I don't think I've ever met this girl. She actually has a picture and everything. I don't think our odds of capturing him today are especially high, Leo. What should we do? I, dude, who is this guy? Who does he remind me of? I don't know who it is, but this guy seems like someone I've seen in another anime. Just from looking at his face. Whatever, man. I suppose we'll just have to do what we can without him for now. The two of us can handle the majority of student council's work. But we are going to need his approval in the end, so you need to keep your keep up your search. Find him as soon as possible. Right. Right. 
Oh, are these the previous count? Oh, these guys must be like... Oh, yeah, yeah, because this would be before. So this would be before those two are actually the student council... Student council leaders. So this is like the pre-student council leaders. True. I'll see you two later. Righto. Lucy is very pretty. That other girl was right. Well, I guess we better get, better get back to work. Ugh, oh, if we must. Huh, Chloe? What brings you here with a pile of printouts in hand? Oh, um, well, I'm just helping Miss Wyola with some of her work, you see. By going around after classes giving out printouts? You're one model student. I would have turned her down if I was in your position. Um, well, how about this? Why don't we give you a hand with it? The two of us are going to be walking around the school for a while because it's mother work. Anyways, so there'll be no skin off our backs. Oh, I don't want to trouble you. I was the one who accepted this task. So it's my duty to see it through to the end. Well, if you'll excuse me, I should probably be getting back to it. Good luck with your own work. I didn't talk to that menu girl, though. So, like, guess who's sharing a room with her? Me. Huh? Really? She's supposed to be a real genius from all I've heard of her. Sounds like one can be a room arrangement if you ever find yourself stuck on homework. <clears throat> well, I guess you can see it that way, but it's like, I don't know. She's really pleasant and polite and all, but it's sort of... It's like she doesn't want to be super close to anybody. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. If you're sharing a room with her, you can't be total strangers, right? Would you talk sometimes? Not really. Hi and goodnight is about the most we do, to be honest. I wish I could talk to her normally. I just, I just casually walked into the boys' locker room. There's no problems. Damn, Chloe. You don't give a shit. Currently changing. I'm in. I can't go inside right now. I should come back later? No. It looks like someone's getting changed. I should come back later. Damn it. Oh, hi, Lucy. If you happen to encounter this student council president, inform us at once. Oh, is the actual president left? Because he didn't want to deal with this bullshit? Oh my god, is he the redhead? Who just keeps slacking off on the fucking rooftop? Of course. Oh, are you here the new transfer student? Yes, that's right. Am I... I take it this is your first time coming to this room. There's no need to be so nervous. I'm the student council, council's vice president, Lucy Salent. So this is, uh, Kaguya. Except, uh, the other guy is merged with the other guy. True. That makes sense, right guys? Lucy Salent. I wonder if these characters are going to come back later, because they might. They have fucking pictures. I guess we should remember them. He's our secretary and our accountant, Leo. It's a, p a pleasure to meet you. You're very welcome to come here whenever you like. She's so pretty. Uh, my name is Chloe Rins. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Your, academy li your academic life here probably isn't going to be all smooth sailing, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Just try and enjoy yourself. I believe in you. Thank you. You can't solve all the problems you'll encounter during your time here as a student. But if the student council's president causes you any trouble, that's another story. Come and let me know right away. I'll deal with him. Thank you. The fool is highly dangerous. If you sight him, don't attempt to approach him. Inform us at once. Is that guy a part of the... Humanities class? Or... Sorry, what class am I in? Social studies. How would I forget? Oh, I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you a first year? This is a school cafeteria. When you want to eat something to eat, they'll come right here. How have I not been to the cafeteria? I guess I make all my food. Kids your age always have some ravenous appetites. If you want to eat something to eat, don't feel bad about it. Come on along right away. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, Chloe. I'm sure you don't need any help with that. Are you sure you don't need that? Really, really sure? I'm sure. I promise all these will be delivered. No problem. So don't you worry about me. Well, if you're sure. If you change your mind, though, just come and let me know. We know it's on my end, so you just say the word. Come to think of it, I think that one student who usually hangs around near this old schoolhouse is on the social studies course. Okay, so we are gonna have to meet the redhead. Makes sense. Also, he's in the fucking old schoolhouse. Why do I always have to go to the old schoolhouse? Who's this? Hmm, I know you. Chloe Rins, wasn't it? Do you have some business with me? Well, not personally, no. I've been entrusted with the task of giving out printout to you by Miss Wyola. Oh, this is a list of this year's credits. What? Joint classes seem to be worth an awful lot while we're first years. Wait, physical education is worth five whole credits? Ideos, help me. Um, I suppose I should probably leave him alone for a while. Well, if you'll excuse me. Wait a moment. Yes? Oh no. 
She's got according to this printout. Our examination will be taking place in six weeks' time. Make sure you study thoroughly for them. Don't want to hear any excuses if you don't strive for the top. Absolutely. I'll devote myself fully to my studies. Okay, but is there anyone else here, though? No. No. Yes. <laughs> Logic asked if he could borrow some of my reference books, so... I'm in the process of choosing one to give him. Logic makes you uncomfortable? Why? He's, I don't know, I, don't, I can't get a read on what kind of character Logic is. He really is alarmingly dedicated to his studies. That's no bad thing though, on the contrary, I think it's great. Hmm, where should I go with? This one? No, this one might be a little too difficult for him right now. Cool. Actually, hold on, I didn't talk to... I didn't talk to... A kind senior student has agreed to lend me some reference book to aid me in my studies. He's in the process of Oh, it's Dennis. Cool. I have no intention of not delivering to my full potential during the examination, and I hope you feel the same way. Make sure you study thoroughly for them! Having grown up in a pressure cooker educational environment, logic is basically what every teacher here expected us to be like. Oh... I get it. I can see why that would make you uncomfortable. Yeah. No, I, I, I can see that. I, I, didn't, I didn't grow up in that kind of environment. Which might, I don't know if this is fortunate or unfortunate, but... I don't think I ever could have lived up to that, honestly, knowing me. Maybe I could have, I don't know. I, I crack under pressure. Like a dang egg. Who's this? Oh, it's you, Chloe. You haven't seen a really slovenly looking guy around here, have you? A slovenly looking guy? Is it slovenly or slovenly? I don't know. It's a no then, trust me. If you'd seen the guy I'm looking for, you wouldn't need to ask for clarification. Who could he be if he's not around here, then? Huh? He's such a nightmare. The guy just loves toying with us. Alright, alright. Let's go to the old schoolhouse. I forgot about this song. That scared the hell out of me. I was just I was just in the vibe zone and then suddenly they just got interrupted. Hey Ricky! Why are we here? Spring has come and yet in my heart, it's still the middle of winter. Uh, why does everything in my life have to go wrong? Um excuse me. Oh, I know you. You're the transfer student, right? Uh, I wish I was smart like you. Um, Miss Viola told me to deliver this to you. Uh, I shouldn't even need this. I should have graduated, but here I am, redoing the year again. What? I can't believe I have to do my third year all over again. This is the worst. I was so full of hope when I first enrolled here. And look at me now. Um, I'm not sure what to say in this situation. It's Anton. Yeah, is this the same Anton that travels the world? In the, in the second game? Was it the second game? Or is it the one that's sitting on the Bose steps? I'm oh, sorry, the Grand Soul steps in the mall. And then they travel once and they come back. That's cool. Okay, that's cool. So he was here and he's like, what? what? He dropped out? Or maybe he finished this. I don't remember his story entirely, but... I feel like I'm being toyed with at this point. Fate is just in it. Has has it in it? Fate just has it in it in for me. Ha. Huh. True. I should have it, I should have known me being able to come here was too good to be true. Uh, all I was being set up for was a fall. I almost wish I hadn't passed the exam to come here at all. Hey there, you look like you're in a hurry. Oh, you're looking for social studies? studies fuck, I did it again! I did it again. <laughs> you're looking for social studies, students. There's one standing right here, Anton. Personally, I think he's... Personally, I think he made a major mistake picking that course in the first place, though. He's not built for all that work. For some bizarre reason, Anton decided to major in social studies. I told him enrolling in a course where you have to do that much memorization was only going to end badly for him, but he didn't listen. The door is locked. Where is... So this is not who I was looking for. Was he taught? Was that... 
Was Jill talking about Anton this whole time? Okay, well, maybe if I go back, I'm just gonna randomly run. He's gonna randomly cut me off as I'm walking between this place and back to school. Let's see. Nope, I was wrong. Where have I not been? I'm trying to think here. Second floor, I've been. I swear I've been in every room. That was towards Anton. Oh, yeah, because he was like, he was setting himself up for a fall, you mean? Oh, I haven't gone to the center. There used to be a fountain here, you know, but they got rid of it last year for some reason. It was from the Middle Ages, so it's pretty beat up. Can't really blame them for getting rid of it. I just wish I'd drawn it before they did so. It's my biggest regret. There used to be a fountain here. I really liked it, too. Who's that just walked past? Oh, yeah, Mr. Effort. <laughs> it's about this time of year that the new first-year students start getting used to life in the academy. Which means that a lot of them start slacking off because they think they've got it all figured out. I'm not going to let that happen this year. No siree. Speaking of people slacking off, whoops. I'm really going to have to do something about that guy. He probably talked about the redhead. That's my best guess. Is the redhead behind any of these walls? Used to be found here almost every water feature in a modern building five years after it opens. True. Also, what about drinking fountain? Did anyone remember those? The fuck, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Shit's gone forever now. Then again, I don't leave the house, so... Maybe that's why I don't see them. Bro, where- what am I missing? I feel like I've been everywhere. Right? Right? Wrong? No, I've definitely been in there. Wait, what? Bro. Ah. I... Huh? Do I go back to the classroom? Or who's this? Janitor Parks. Hey there, you looking for someone? Actually, there's a girl who came to talk to me not long ago because she lost something. If you're not looking for her, are you? She went up the stairs if you are. Wait, who? Who lost something? Someone else new here? I walked into the girl's door. Remember, I even, like, talked to that one girl who was all like, oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the locker room girl. Okay, this is probably new. Um... Did you go to the girls' dorm? Yeah, but I went there. There was only one girl there who was talking about how pretty Lisa was. Drinking fountains are making a comeback here. I don't know if I trust them more so because it's been two years and they were never removed. So I don't know how well they were maintained throughout the pandemic. That is that is pretty fair. That is a pretty fair take. I specifically do like the the water bottle refilling stations. Those are good. Like those ones that are like not like you don't really touch them or anything. They're like hands-free water bottle refilling. I love those. You guys have that in Singapore? I don't even know. I just kind of made an assumption there. Was it neat? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, where could it have gone? Oh, there it is. Phew! Um, excuse me. Hey, you're the transfer student, right, Chloe? Do you need something from me? Yes, actually. You see, Miss Wyola asked me to deliver these. Chloe handed Monica a printout. They're usually built into a water fountain. Yeah, I think it's about the same for us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They're usually like, I don't know if it's the same style, but we got like, there's usually like a thing on the bottom and there's a refilling thingy on the top. And there's also like a, a display that says how many bottles of water we filled up, like plastic bottles of water were not used because we refilled our water instead, which is cool. I like seeing that number go up for whatever, for whatever reason. Chloe handed Monica a printout. Oh, it's our credit list. Ugh, there's so many classes here. Being a second year seems like it's gonna be rough. I'm surprised you went out of your way to deliver these. Not like there was any rush. Um, you really think so? Yeah, she forgot to hand them out last year, too. We got them eventually, but it was like forever after we should have. She might be pretty, but she's kind of uh, not all there, if you know what I mean. You might want to rat your back, okay? Like, you're obviously a nice girl, and so if you don't, she might end up taking advantage of that. There you are, Monica. You do realize we can't start without you, right? Whoops, sorry, I'm coming now. I'll see you later, Chloe. Thanks for delivering that printout to me. Oh, not at all. But, but I need to keep doing what I can. I usually avoid drinking from plastic bottles as much as possible. I feel really bad when I do. 
Maybe I was desperate to cling on to something uh, to keep losing sight, of, to keep from losing sight of myself. The world made it seem like you could only broaden your horizons by interacting with others. But there I was, stubbornly refusing to come out of my shell. Or was it really stubbornness? In some weird way, I can't explain. It was more like obsessing over the idea that I could grow as long as I pushed myself. It's not like I wanted to be left behind. It's not like I wanted to be alone. So as long as I tried hard enough, maybe one day I'd stop feeling like I was running in place. Plastic soda bottle? Oh, oh, plastic soda bottle. Yeah. No, I usually just like, even when I drink water and stuff, I just like... I just carry around my metal, my metal, what do you call it? Cold, cold retaining bottle, this one. I've had this bottle for like six years now. Hold on a minute. I don't have a printout left for me. <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. I, I thought I might have to replace mine because I, my cap was not keeping in the water anymore, but then I learned you can just buy a new cap. Which is awesome. That means I just had to spend 10 bucks and then I am out my water bottle as good as new. Instead of having to spend like 50 again. The shit was expensive. <laughs> I don't know why it's that expensive, but it is. I wonder if I left mine in the classroom. I must have. I'd better go back and get it. What is that a map of? Maybe it's a map of social studies. I was looking at that notebook, but I couldn't pick it up. <sighs> Can I really keep going on like this? And this is when Redhead Guy comes in and teaches me how to stop being such a prude. Right? So yeah, that transfer student came by earlier. Oh, the super smart one? Yeah, anyway. So yeah, um, I should hurry back to my room and go over what we learned in class. We need to go over our credits list again too. No, you gotta listen to that. It's a bl blurry black and white map of the continent. I thought I was assuming, but I just couldn't... I don't remember what the continent looks like at a glance. I don't think I even... I probably should, but I don't. Uh, I'm feeling kind of tired. Wow, from that little sprint? Makes sense. Relatable. Ah... Uh, Duh. Oh, look who it is. Hey there, pretty lady. You look like Zelos. That's who it is. You look like Zelos, man. That's awesome. That's a plus for me. You look like short-haired Zelos, or I guess you could also be Luke, but I don't really know Luke that well, so... I'm not gonna make that comparison. You're the student council president, right? Bingo! The name's Lecter. Uh-oh. Sure is a gorgeous sunset today, huh? Oh, yes it is. So, what are your impressions of the Academy? Well, um, I think it's a wonderful place. It's well-equipped in terms of facilities, for one thing. It has everything you need to really cultivate a good environment for learning, and I'm happy to have chosen it. <laughs> ah, my hunch was right on the money. I knew you'd take it that way. As opposed to... I'm sorry, did I misunderstand you? Well, I was more asking about your life at the Academy outside of all that book junk. Maybe it's just me, but you don't really seem like you're to be letting it loose or having fun. Um, well, I do still feel as though I'm still adjusting to life here, so there's a lot I have yet to learn. But I'll keep working as hard as I can on doing so, I promise. Hmm... Was that really what you came here to do, though? Pardon me? <laughs> Man, you're too serious! Have you ever tried pay playing hooky, like, ever? At least once? I, um, I, I... I might not look the part, but I am the student council president, you know? Our work's pretty damn easy, too. What do you think? Are you inviting me to join? Only if you have a thing for long nights filled with exciting paperwork and super-duper enthralling schedules. Monotone? Sorry, I didn't say- I- why did you start with that? Fine, let me do it again! Only if you have a, lo a thing for long nights filled filled with exciting paperwork and super duper enthralling schedules. <laughs> thank you, for, thank you for giving me the voice direction after I already read everything. Oh, I was hoping for some kind of reaction. If he's the president, then there must be something respectable about him, but I'm not seeing it. How do I put this? I feel like I couldn't trust him with so much as a ten mirror coin. Oh, whoops! After Milia, Milia, after Milia was bugging me and. 
about showing up to lessons once in a while, I should probably cough up some new excuse to ditch. I mean, I could go, but where's the fun in that? Pissing around is like watching a pot boil over, though. So, whatever crap I make up better be really convincing. Uh, yep, I think my instincts were dead on. Um, I, I should really be heading back to the dormitory now. You might want to watch how you stand when I'm kicking it down here. My view is awesome if you catch my drift! Excuse me! <laughs> that way is the boys' door. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. This one's gonna be like pulling teeth. No, 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 no. Several days later after classes. The Student Council, an autonomous body run by students, for students, responsible for maintaining order and overseeing student activities. And their most important duty of all, why is it, why is this leading up like a fucking Love is War episode? Is searching for their president. He's not here either! Where is that rough? I gotta, I gotta really do a Love Is War watch party soon. Like, like unironically, I think I might do one next Friday. I'm, I'm, I like, like without like any fucking cap or anything. Like, I don't, I would have done it this Friday, but we have Mugen meltdown happening. I think I want to do that next Friday. Who is that ruffian? I was sure he got us a. He, I was sure he'd think he got us and come back to the council room this time. Sure of it. I swear, every time we do manage to find him, he gets a thousand times more capable of hiding from us. Where could he be? We search the school buildings, we search the dorms. Where's, th what's, where's left? The shrubs on the grounds? Uh, he's just taunting us now. Get it together, Hans! We're going to find him and we're going to force feed him every single piece of paperwork he's got piled up. Right on! Also, is the English- all- is that the whole fucking dubbed version of- of, uh, Devil's a Part-Timer out, too. Did that show ever come out? I don't even- I don't- I am so out of the loop. It's crazy. Uh, huh. Chloe? What are you doing here? Oh, hello. I just had a little free time, so I thought I would try and use it productively. Is that lesson prep work? Man, you're so dedicated. I think I can see how you were able to pass the Legendary Transfer Student's, uh, entrance exam. Um, it's really just something to pass the time. It's not like I'm worried I'm working every waking hour of the day. Oh yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask. You haven't seen Lecter around, have you? Lecter? I'm almost scared to ask, but he didn't try anything funny on me. No, sort of. I'm so, so sorry. This is all our fault for not keeping that nut job on a leash. I don't know how we can begin to apologize to you. Whatever he did, we'll sure be... Absolutely sure it never happens again, or anything else for that matter. So please, forgive us for begging you. Um, it's okay, honestly. He really didn't do anything major to me, honest. Really? Yes, he just tried to tease me a little while. It was harmless fun. He nearly gave me a heart attack, Chloe. I thought I was gonna faint or something. Seriously, it's getting to the point where I feel like I need to apologize every time I hear his name. Thanks, Ideos. Thanks, Ideos. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Um, is he really that much of a troublemaker? Oh, troublemaker? That's cute. Honestly, with a personality like that, he's a walking nightmare straight from Gehenna. But we've lost count of how many times he's ran away during his council work in the past couple weeks alone. It'd be bad enough if it weren't for the fact that he's usually out raising health for people instead. Instead of doing our own work, we're either out searching for him or apologizing for things he's done. So the council's most important policy is if he's not in our sights, the sooner we find him, the better. If you're thinking we can't be in a very effective student council like that, well, you're right. I see. Something wrong, Chloe? Uh, no, nothing really. But speaking of Lecter, he was asleep. He was sleeping on top of the clubhouse roof not long ago. He was? That explains why we couldn't find him. We didn't check there. You're the best, Chloe. Thanks a ton. Not at all. It was actually Steve who noticed him there, but I suppose I shouldn't tell him that. Come on, Hans. We have. I mean, come on, Hans. We have some trash to bring in. Damn straight. Seriously, thanks, Chloe. We owe you big time. See you later. Oh, sure. So that's what he's usually like. My instincts about him being irresponsible were right, I see. 
still that question he asked me. Is that really what you came here to do, though? Avoiding damn right? Yeah, right? <laughs> there he is. What? How? Yeah, don't even ask how the super for like new girl got onto the roof. Maybe he just maybe she just saw it with her crazy vision, you know? Or she was on a different roof. What? Where is he? Was there a second ago I saw him? That was actually just a, a shadow clone. We were tricked. Why isn't he there now? Crap, where did he go? That Chloe's heading off somewhere else. Maybe we should ask her again if she saw anything. Huh? Well, sure, I guess. Can't hurt. I mean, she was the one who let us up here in the first place. She'd probably be a useful asset in our search in general. We can convince her to help. Yeah, let's go down and talk to her. Chloe, a favorite person. Oh, hello again. Was he not on the roof? No, he was. He just managed to disappear before we could wring our hands around his stupid neck. I can't believe he managed to escape again. That doesn't make any sense to us, though. It's not like he was anywhere to hide up there, he's way too far for us to be able to jump down. It does seem strange. So, you know, we were wondering if you might have some idea of where you've gone next. It doesn't even need to be a specific location like last time. Anything useful you might not have on him, share to share, share away. Please, anything will do. Well, they really do seem to need some help. You might have some kind of idea. Wait, you do know something? I don't, but I know someone who might. Let me ask him for you. Seek! Take him down! <laughs> this fucking kills him. Whoa! You have a falcon? Is he your pet or something? Oh, no. He's more like a friend. Scream. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> See, you haven't seen Lecter in it anywhere, have you? He was that slovenly boy who was sleeping on the clubhouse roof not long ago. Scree? Scree, scree. Scree. Oh, so you lost sight of him. Scree. Scree. No, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Sorry for calling you then. Thanks for trying to help. Scree. <laughs> wow. He really must be fast if C can't keep up with him. Uh, I think we're a bit too busy having our minds blown by you talking to a falcon to feel impressed by Lecter right now. You're telling me. You're a true enigma. Did I do something strange? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just genuinely amazed. That makes two of us. Shouldn't the superpower of didn't get us any closer to fighting Lecter. Indeed. Still, if Seed couldn't find him, that could mean he's inside one of the buildings. Probably in one of the relative... One re that's relatively quiet at this time of day. I never realized that that was an emote. When the hell did you add that as an emote? The fuck? What the hell is that? Burge, 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 burge? I don't know how to say it. Actually, that helps narrow things down a lot. It just leaves empty classrooms, the dorms, the auditorium, and the old schoolhouse. That still leaves plenty of places if you ask me. Um, would, would you like me to help you? Really? You're sure you wouldn't mind? I thought you had something else you needed to do. I was just going to go and have a look around some of the clubs, but I can do that anytime. Well, I do feel kind of bad about asking you to put yourself out, uh, put yourself out for us. But you really would be a serious help. I don't think we could wish for a better, wish for better even. You're totally sure though. I, we wouldn't want to force you. Of course. Great. Let's get to work then. He's not gonna know what hit him. You don't like it? <laughs> you don't like, like almost any of the Pepe emotes except for Yap, as far as I can tell. Um, wait, I have a party of students. Well, hey, did you decide to join the student council, Chloe? Oh, it's not that. I'm just helping them with something at the moment. Oh, I see. You seem a little different from how you usually are, so I thought joining the council was a reason for that. Different? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Anyway, can I help you out with anything? Actually, you can. You haven't seen Lecter around everywhere, have you? Anywhere, have you? Lecter? 
No, I'm pretty sure he hasn't passed by here. The only other person I can remember seeing is the janitor. I see. Thanks for your help, anyway. No problem. I saw Lucy wander into the main building earlier. She looks so exhausted. Frickin' Alice. <laughs> she was just as charming as ever. Ah, no matter what she does, Lucy is always so beautiful. I wonder how she does it. What kind of secrets do you think she's hiding? Alice and I are on cleaning duty this week. Which kind, of, which kind of makes it hard for us to join any clubs right away. We'll get around to it at some point. Dude, I gotta walk around the whole campus again a second time, but with different people. Hmm, we're looking for Lecter? He was on that bench reading a book till not long ago. Then he just up and disappeared. I wonder where he went. Can't imagine Lecter's gone too far. I'm gonna say Lecter's over here. Uh... <laughs> Dude, I always thought about how this place was empty and pointless. And that no one goes here because there's nothing here. She, he's just hanging out. Bro, I didn't... Oh, I guess I just missed a lot of dialogue, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> I don't know if I should feel... I should be... Bro, I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, God. Well, we're not going to see whatever that was, I guess. We found you. You're not getting away this time. It's time to come quietly. Hmm. What exactly is it that you're reading? It's Kitty Talk for Dummies. Nyago! Bro! That's literally what the cat says! In, in whatever the fuck. Nyan! Oh, nyan, nyan, nyan! Have you been sitting here reading that all this time? I just closed my eyes and kept running forward through a vast, empty world, living the hardest that I could. It was not running that would achieve anything, and it wasn't as if I would suddenly be able to leave the ground and fly by doing so. It's just that if I stood still, the small, perfectly enclosed garden around me would suddenly feel too uncomfortably vast. Lecter was right. Just what had I come here to do? Oof. After that, Chloe decided to join the fencing club so that the skills Julia taught her didn't go rust grow rusty during her time at the academy. She also found herself being roped into helping Jill and Hans search for the nefarious lecture quite often, too. Then roughly a month after this all began. Everyone's favorite time of the academic year finally arrived. What? Right, so here, so here I need to use this formula. Wait, this isn't right. What am I doing wrong? Exam season, huh? Students sure have it rough. You're technically one too, you know, technically. You are going to study, aren't you? Well, well... I'll take that as a no. Oh, here you are. An angel shines her majesty upon us. Come on, Lecter, it's time for you to hit those books. But I studied for a whole half second today already. I really don't think. Okay. Oh, Lucy. Why can't I get you to do that to me? I was gonna say, bro, I was gonna make a joke about it. I was gonna make a joke about what House was about to say, but he just said it. All right, dude. Whatever, man. Wait, no, this is no time for fantasizing. I need to study. Wait, what? Whole half was something, but then I said second? I thought he said whole half second. Wait, I'm confused. Did I actually read that wrong? <laughs> Why yes, Hans, have you met Shara? I really miss Shara. Ah, we're finally free. I knew this, this place wouldn't go easy on us, it was really hard. I 
feel like I just want to curl up in bed and sleep for a week now. Oh, Chloe, how'd the exams go for you? Well, all right, I suppose. I read it right. Oh, sorry, I understand what you're saying now. You're saying, like, whole half was something, but then, I, but then second, yeah. I thought he was gonna say whole half day. I, I like that's I love that because I fucking I say I said shit like that all the time. Like man, I, I was like <laughs> I studied for like half a second. I'm already done. Now, now, there's no need to be modest. We know you probably finished in half the time and got all the answers right to boot. The smile says it all. <laughs> well, I wish I had your brain. Sure, we can't swap. This isn't the place to be loitering. We're stopping people from getting to the stairs. Oops. We're sorry. Oh, and one more thing. The student council's work resumes today. I'll be expecting both of you in the council room at 2 o'clock for a meeting. Don't even think about being late. Yes, sir. As for you, Chloe, you may do as you see fit. <laughs> Why did he say that? Um, I'm guessing that's his way of saying he'd like you to come along, too. You might not be technically a member, but you're an honorary lector catcher. We kind of need you at this point. I bet he's acknowledged you because of that, because believe me, that's a real special talent you've got there. <laughs> I'm not sure I've done it enough to warrant that, personally. It's okay for me to go. Maybe I will, though. It sounds like fun. You might be a bit disappointed if you go along expecting fun. We'd be happy to have you, though, fun or no fun. So if you're up for it, so are we. Nice, let's go get ourselves some lunch, then we can head over there. Alright. You know, I realized this game is basically just world building simulator of giving us all the missing gaps in everybody's lives and personalities. Pretty good. Yo, guys. Whoa, Lecter's here? What's the occasion? Hey, it's not as if I'm never here. I'm always here doing nothing, aren't I? At least he's being honest about it. Lucy, I'm so happy to see you again. You're looking well, Hans. How did your exams go? <laughs> oh, well, I'd appreciate if we avoid that fine subject. <laughs> Much like you avoided all the subjects you were supposed to study then. Can you stop wasting time and take your seats? We have work to do. Sorry. Well, we're all here, so let's get started. All right, our first order of the day is... Talking about everyone's dreams for the future. You three can go first. Speak of your highest aspirations so that we may all hear. Please continue, Leo. First, I will go over the student council's main orders of business for the year. After that, I will discuss our future activities in more detail. And then we can start to f uh, work on allocating the budget. Chill. You spill first. Tell us what desires burn within that pure sisterly heart of yours. Desire to topple your presidency. Dramatic gasp. <laughs> As you can see, this fool will be of no use to at all during the proceedings. Expect diddly squat from him. Oh, Lecter. When he's not here, he causes trouble. When he's here, he causes... <sighs> trouble. So, moving along. If we go by our usual uh, pattern for the year, next month will be... Dun 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 uh, I'm exhausted. Trying to find Lecter is exhausting, but somehow not having to do it ends up just as tiring. But at least I was finally reunited with my beloved Lucy. I was dying of loneliness for not getting to see her during the exam period. God. The worst part is how he just says everything out loud instead of just keeping it to himself. That's like both confident and cringe at the same time. You liar. You went and met her this morning, didn't you? Something about seeing her before your exams making you do better in them? You're right, I saw you too. Oh, hey. This is what I needed. A few people who look like they've got nothing to do. We're a hell of a lot busier than you are. We need to go around and meet with the heads of all the academy clubs and start drafting up at a budget. Okay, I guess it's up to you, Chloe. Me? Lecter handed an envelope to Chloe. Um, what is this? It's something that needs to be delivered to the Mayor of Ruin. Leo's not gonna take no for an answer either, so there you go. Enjoy. It sounds, sounds very much like it's your job. Mine? Are you sure not mistaking me for someone else? 
Oh, and Chloe, you got a feather on your head. I do? Lecter brushed his hand across Chloe's head. Okay, dude. I guess that must have been Sieg's. He did say it was almost time for him to start molting, come to think of it. How long has that been there? If it wasn't there during the exams, that'd be so embarrassing. Wait, wait, you know about Sieg? Did you actually talk to him? Okay, good luck delivering that envelope. Talk about an enigma. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chloe, you are aware you've just had Lecter work unceremon- Lecter's work unceremoniously dumped on you, right? Also, while I hate to be the one to break it to you, there wasn't a feather on your head. He did it again. Come, come on, you can't let him get away with this. You've got to go after him and force him to take it back. You shouldn't have to do his work for him. I don't disagree, but I'm not sure he's going to find him if he goes after him now. He's got enough of a head start that we probably- We're probably talking like, what, five or six hours to find him? I just want to say shotguns are for bitches. What do you mean? Shotguns are great. I love shotguns. I... I think... Oh, I guess I'm a bitch. <laughs> Never mind. I think it would be faster for me to just go and do the job myself, wouldn't it? All we have to do is... All I have to do is deliver it to the Mayor of Ruin, after all. I'm kind of hoping you could help us with our work, too. I'm sorry, Jill. Ah, don't worry about it. No big deal. You know the way to the Mayor's place? If you don't, I can help with that. Thanks, but I know the way. I've been to visit him once before, actually. Huh, really? Sounds like you should be fine then. I'll take care of the monsters on the way. Thank you, I will. Well, this is goodbye for now, I guess. Later. Don't be out too late. I won't. Wait, do I actually have to fight things on the way out? Hold up. Bro, how long is this? Honestly, guys, I think I might actually stop early today. I am going to be playing again tomorrow. So it's not going to be a long wait. But I'm, like, really tired. And also, I have work super early tomorrow compared to normal. So I feel like I should try to get some sleep. And continue my okay sleep pattern for a little bit. So... Yeah, I mean, I can tell it's a really long door. But I don't, I I don't want to rush it. You know? like, I don't want to try to rush it while I'm feeling tired about it. Because I feel like I'm not going to enjoy it as much. I'm just going to be like, man, when is it going to be over? I'm not going to be able to end my stream, you know? I don't really, I don't want to do that. So we're going to play tomorrow, as a, as a reminder. Uh, it's going to be at 10 o'clock again. So Woofy, I guess that's 10 a.m. for you. I guess it's pretty easy for you to convert times if you're exactly 12 hours apart. It's interesting to see how Chloe goes from this shy reserve girl to I love you, Joshua. Yeah. It is cool. I really like seeing uh, Chloe's development. This is probably literally everything that um, that Pikachu wanted. <laughs> this is like super Chloe fans here, which is great. I already said. I don't know how to say it again. But YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. A bit of a shorter stream, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. I also haven't put up yesterday's fucking stream yet. Oh my god, or two days ago. I just didn't make a thumbnail for it because I got really lazy. But anyways, YouTube, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.